Hello. Welcome to the whole bitches. I am Rob Sprantz. Somewhere in there is Chris Franco Del Valley. <laughs> Somewhere. All right, all right. I'm gonna skip all the stupid introductions. This is the whole podcast. The dumbest motherfuckers on the internet. I am here with the cast of the Band Geek podcast. Hey. So it's uh, on the whole side. We have myself. Chris Fortney, Franco Del Valle, Leah Bonima, Lori Levine, Katie's here running cameras. On the side of Band Geek, we have Jared Pressman, Anne Marie. Are you Castellano now? Yeah. Okay, Anne Marie Castellano, Richie Castellano, uh, our good friend Richie Castellano. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tony, what's your last name again, Tony? Hanson. Tony Hansen. That's too cool of a name. You have to have a shittier <laughs> name like the rest of us. Uh, Tony, who is our dungeon master, and the reason why we need one is because this is our epic Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we're going to play D and D, and we have Andy Ascalis from the Band Geek Podcast here to uh, provide accompaniment and music the whole time. And there it is. There's Andy. We're <laughs> jamming on some Chicago before. Um, his wife Brandy is here laughing in the background. As anyone who listens to Band Geek Podcast knows that laugh. Um, we look absolutely fucking ridiculous, and I'm just speaking for myself. But for those of you who are just listening, let me go around the room and do the costumes here. Uh, so I'm dressed as a wizard, and I have long flowing white hair that's in my face. Um, and I have a nice Mickey Mouse saucer hat, which keeps falling down, so it looks like a nightcap. Jared is is dressed in some type of pajamas planetary getup. What is what is this, uh, Jared? It's a uh, it's a space cape uh, lined with white satin. Okay. Um, and my Harlem Globetrotters jersey because it's game day. Right. Okay. Understood. All right. I get it. I get that. Okay. White satin. Um, White satin. Oh. Now, Anne Marie has a lovely cloak on, and you've brought uh, a sword. I saw that you had already. Yes. Um, it was that, uh, the mace you brought as well. Yeah, I brought, I okay. brought sting. It lights up. Okay. Real action noises. Now, have you ever used that on Richie the mace? Um, I've used it on some like honeydew melons. Um, <laughs> I exploded them in my backyard. That's pretty fun. Okay. It'll actually hurt you though. It's solid metal. It's like a solid. Seri- it's it looks really crappy, but before this is over, I want you to hit Chris with it, and I'll explain <laughs> that in a minute. Um, <laughs> now Richie, uh, for some reason, decided it was Star Wars, <laughs> and he he's dressed as a Jedi, which is all good. This was very expensive. You can move the mic closer to you. So you have to keep looking. At it. Is that like a real Jedi robe that you're wearing? Yeah, it is. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. So you, how much was it? Uh, this was fifty bucks, but the whole <laughs> the, the whole getup was very expensive. So I've had to wear it for the last seventeen years. Okay. So how many have you ever worn it to like a Comic Con or something? I've never been to Comic Con. What have you ever worn it to? Like when you buy Halloween, a- Halloween okay, in right. in New Orleans, and a- Andy's wedding, I wore it too. I was really, okay. <laughs> I really <laughs> was really hoping you'd say like you wore it out like to the movies or something like that. I wore it to the movies he once. He did for the yeah. Pr- yeah. the premiere of of episode two, mm-hmm. and uh, I thought I was you know because I thought a lot of people were going to do that, but I was the only one. <laughs> and then the uh, local news showed up and they took a picture of me. <laughs> and I, and I think, you're the one guy. <laughs> and I think I think the subtitle under my face was like asshole dresses up for Star <laughs> Wars premiere. <laughs> Little kids don't dress up. And it's, yeah. <laughs> now I, I think I'm going to go ahead and give best costume immediately <laughs> to Chris Fortney. <laughs> <laughs> who has taken he has taken this to the extreme like I knew he would. He is he has made a full suit of armor and a sword <laughs> out of cardboard and duct tape. You're goddamn right. It is probably the most <laughs> elaborate waste of time in the history of, <laughs> of this show. But I thank him for it. And I know this entire you, show has been an elaborate waste. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a good point. It's a good point. Now, Tony, you're the dungeon master, so you don't need to go. You're too cool for that shit. You just you show up and you have your your robe on and like you're not you're not fucking around. I have my shirt on though. Dungeon yeah, he has a shirt on that says, Who died and made you the dungeon master? Jo- Joan Rivers did. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, wow. So it begins. Uh, okay. Oh, piss flat. Now, <laughs> now, Leah is dressed uh, in a wizard cape. She has a lovely black wig on. Um, and you have a. My mom made you have this a cape staff. when I was a little kid. Really? Your mom made it for you? Yeah. That is awesome. And I've kept it ever since. Nice. It looks good. It's like very well made. Like it's hand stitched and everything. <clears throat> That's Thanks. sweet. So Leah's got the look going. And I did actually have a staff that lights up, but I put it behind my bookshelf. And, and you lost I, it. And then I can't fucking move my bookshelf. Right. Well, that's not I very. That's not very barbarian of you. It's very unbarbarian. <laughs> okay. And now Franco, his his costume is a bandana tied around his neck. Can you explain that? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, the mic would help too. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just You've only so done 180 of these. Fuck you. I usually <laughs> don't hold my own mic. I'm a lazy, <laughs> lazy Italian. All right, go ahead. That's my costume. I'm a gay, lazy Italian. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really a costume. No, it's not. It's just ev- no. I'm not Italian, so that's the costume. Part. Ah, yeah. Tricked everyone. Talk though. a little more. That's how good the costume is. Everybody actually thinks I'm Italian. Or and, gay. And gay. <laughs> That's a nice <nights> costume. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Princess Piss Flaps, Lori. Yes, That is Lori. your name, Princess Fli- Piss Flaps. You have a Burger King crown, courtesy of Jared Pressman, who brought that along. Um, and you are you have you have a lovely uh, feather hanging from your ear, right across your lovely testicles. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're all set. Um, now Andy. Is because I guess you you've worn a tuxedo as if it was Oscar night, and I like that. I'm I'm a conductor. You're a conductor, yeah. I like it. I like it. Andy's wearing a tux- tuxedo. Everybody has come to play. Um, so here's uh, w- some of the quick summaries. Now, Tony, we talked on the phone last night. I actually said to my wife, I said, "Don't use the phone. The dungeon master's going to be calling." <laughs> okay, so like this is a sentence I never thought I would say in my life. So I said that to my wife. <laughs> I said, don't use the phone. The Dungeon Master's calling. <laughs> so uh, we spoke yesterday, and I explained to him that, you know, the 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 whole people have no idea how to play, or we've played very We're little. the whole people. Yeah, the whole <laughs> people. That's it. You know what? Exactly. The whole people. I hate the whole people. Uh, so, um, so you've gone ahead and made us these wonderful character sheets and yep. asked everybody to draw their own characters. I was very busy, so I'm going to hold it up. Chris drew a nose with a wizard hat on it for me, which is very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's... That's my uh, striking resemblance. Yes, it does. It does. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a look I'm going to try to go for. Why is it sniffing? Does it have to sniff? Can you just give it a nose? <laughs> so you knew it was a nose. Yeah, I know. It's a fucking nose. All right. Um, so, all right. So, I gave you a little summary, Tony, on, on our personalities. And you've come up with uh, characters for each of us. Um, of course, I'm a wizard because I'm a genius. Yep. And because I get to call my own shots here. So, that's, that's what I am. Now, I have to name my character. And... Um, I, st- I guess I'll just... I'm going to give it a real character name. It's what I always use every time I play any games. Is my name backwards. I'm going to go with Eknarps. I was going to go with Saul Rosenblatt, but I've decided in the last <laughs> minute to just use Eknarps as my name. Okay, so that's going to be my character, and I'm a wizard. Now, uh, describe the character you made for Franco. For Franco. Okay, Franco is a shady thief. <laughs> so he's, perfect. He's got a lot of uh, cool little things to really get him in and out of tight situations. Is <laughs> 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 it the morning after pill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. No, because I'm gay, so technically. <laughs> no. Okay, so you're a thief. <laughs> Secure to AIDS. <laughs> and uh, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah. Leah is a barbarian. Which fits Leah perfectly because <laughs> she is overpowering all of us all the time. Thanks. So you are perfect. And that's the strength. The most strength I could possibly give. Yep. She, she can go into rage and just kill people left and right. and They call it feminism. <laughs> yes, yeah, she can. That's so, so accurate. Uh, okay, so... Now, we have, you said there's going to be two non-player characters, and in that you are going to incorporate <laughs> Cardboard Chris over there yes, as one of them, <laughs> and, uh, and Laurie. So do you need to set up the story at all beforehand, or do you just want to launch into it? What do you prefer? Um, well, the first thing I want to tell you is that for the NPC characters, for, for Chris and Laurie, Basically, I have a couple things set up where it's kind of like a Mad Libs thing. I'll be pointing you to be a character in a story. You could be anyone in the background to somebody who's important for a second that comes by. And basically, I'll just give you the the go-ahead to uh, take control of that person. Lori's also going to be the princess if you find the princess, which is in the story. Okay, Ooh. cool. And when, when we find the princess, do we get to have a way with her? I it's mean, up it's to the princess because she's in control of that so character. So that's a yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so and then what is your role for you, Chris? is going to be the same way. He's going to be in it. Chris oh. is going to be like a bunch of people. You can have your way with me also. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the time. <laughs> the, fr- the best part is you trying to put the head. Did you make holes for the headphones over the, the cardboard? Well, they're my ear flaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, so before we get started and we dive into this, 
I want to congratulate the band geeks on a fantastic podcast. I love it. And Thank I you. listen Thank every you. week. I'm so into it. Um, the videos, the the shows, I listen every single week. And I, I fucking love the show. And anybody who doesn't listen to Band Geek, go to Rycast.com slash Band Geek and check it out. Uh, every week you're topping yourself. I know it's gonna it's making you insane, Richie, but <laughs> <laughs> at some point, you know, it's it, it's gonna become more and more popular and you're gonna have no choice. Oh boy. It, I think uh, I think we're taking a little breather after last week's episode because we went really overboard with the, the John Michelli one. Oh, okay. So, but yeah. we, we did that like under pressure split screen video. Did you see that? Yes, yet? it was fucking fantastic. Yeah, that that was yeah. ridiculous. So. Yeah, it was great. It came out good. Thank you. Getting a lot Thank of good you. feedback on that, I see. Absolutely. Too. Now, you, uh, when you go on the road with BBOC now, do you does people come up to you and say, I listen to the podcast? Yes, they do. And, th- awesome. and it's it blows me away because people will say, oh, my God, you know, Andy kicks ass on drums or Amory's a great singer or, or you know, Muff is so funny. And usually, you know, I... It's it's amazing to me that these people know my friends. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's, I know. to have complete strangers come up to you and say, you know, your wife is great, or you know, y- your friend Jared's uh, really funny. It, it's mm-hmm. it's great. I love that. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's very cool. And I, you know, when I saw Jared, I was like, hey, like I felt like I knew. <laughs> Um, so well, we've been taunting each other back and forth for about two weeks. Yes, this episode, yes, exactly. So. But uh, as you can see, you know, I don't fucking come to goof around. <laughs> I'm here to fucking play. That's a serious hat. Yes, it is. And uh, I see there are two kazoo's here. Uh, we talked about some options. Do you have one that you want to go with? It's or? the first option. The, f- the first option. Right. Okay. Well. Uh, if you guys can go ahead and uh, perform, we were going to do a national anthem, but this would be even better. Uh, this will kick off <laughs> with kazoos. <laughs> yeah, we <can> salute <laughs> Happy to see that live. That was great. <laughs> Two arms! Oh man, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was so great. Awesome, awesome. It's funny. I was like, I, I, Henry is still like conducting during the thing. I see her looking at Jared, like hitting the wrong note. She gets mad at me because I don't do harmonies. <laughs> you sang my part, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we, we didn't rehearse that. We what rehearsed it for four seconds on the way here. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. And you, you know, you, there's a lot of kazoo going on in Band Geek. Uh, as anytime there's horns in it, that's Jared, Richie's fault. Jared wails on the kazoo, and I sent my own gift to the Band Geek podcast—a little trumpet kazoo, which I see you playing sometimes. I go, that's the one I sent. <laughs> <laughs> and now on Twitter, I'm actually at more kazoo thanks to you that's fucking awesome um can uh franco can you please get a uh, water for the wizard before we begin someone took the wizard's water um okay is there anything else that you need to set up before we begin tony um i if you want i don't know how how this will come out but i do have uh a very uh badly done recap uh, oh okay on my phone. yeah pass it pass it down we're we're a big fan of badly done things here oh, okay all right so you'll love it then all right, so let me just plug this in. Stop doing that voice. You'll <laughs> love it. <laughs> in the world. Oh, uh, you got a case on this fucker. Um, yes. Is it is it rubber? Or is it easy to pull off? The case. Nah. Jesus. All right, the let, me case? Just, let me see. Let me see how this sounds. Not to me. All right, you're right. Not <laughs> All right, here we go. There's the volume, just in case I blow it. In the middle. Screen. Okay. Oh, the volume. Off. Yeah. Okay. No, that's not doing it. Yank that case off. Yeah. If you want to get the rubber, I don't really want to yank anything. I could text it to you really fast. No, 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 no it's works. okay. Hold on. 
Does it just come off like? Here, give me a look. No, yeah. you have to like go nuts. Yeah, I think you have to go nuts. Yeah, see, Jared, it's not that easy. Oh, it's on the bottom. Oh, that's lame. Apple is too <laughs> strong. I'm not Remember that time when Muff broke your yeah. phone? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's in three, uh, I can't two. Do this. Yeah, it's not, there's a off. there's a weird thing about it. So uh, I'm a wizard and I can't open a fucking <laughs> iPhone. <key. laughs> uh, well, yeah, they all. You know. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's why he's the dungeon master. Uh, uh, in the meantime, while uh, this is happening, this is everyone, please check out all the great podcasts on Riotcast.com. Don't forget to check out our uh, Amazon link at Riotcast.com. <laughs> Rightcast.com <laughs> slash the whole. Click on that link before you shop. It helps us out. It helps the podcast out. And don't forget, go to tweakedaudio.com uh, for some great, inexpensive earbuds, 33% off and free shipping. Use promo code whole, H O L E. This is hysterical watching everybody <laughs> trying to open a fucking iPhone case. You got it. This is great. Richie, Richie, got, it Richie got, got it. See that? He's a fucking band geek. That's awesome. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to hear the synopsis just enough so I can get the mic, the cable in there. Perfect. Richie is Captain Tinker. That is an awesome case, though. i tell you one thing right Sorry, now. Sorry, Tony. Thank you, I'll tell you so, what. Right. I have a, oh, Tony has to unlock it now. <laughs> uh, 0517. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, you're going to have to Yes, <laughs> there we go. You better change that now. <laughs> Everyone's going to be running to try to find me. 15,000 people are looking up your pin right now. Okay, ready? Let's go back to the beginning. Here is the synopsis. All right, this sounds terrible, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a, well, we get the story. Yeah, you know what? Give it to us because it sounds Do it really live. Is that, yeah, <laughs> can you do it live? Sorry to make you go through all of that, but that's... Andy, some music for Tony, tune. would you? Yes. Maestro. Dude in movie voice. In a world <laughs> yeah. where four adventurers, completely unprepared for the venture ahead, <laughs> have taken on the king's request to save his daughter, Princess... Now named Pisslaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, so we have one wizard, one thief, one barbarian, one ba- yeah, one barbarian, one, s- <laughs> one southerner. You're breaking character, <laughs> One southerner, another thief, slightly more shady. All going on a mission to save the princess. When we last left off, the first adventuring party was traveling through the forest, and as they were traveling, something happened, something they didn't expect. Jerry. Their southerner died of dysentery. Oh shit, dude, that's fucked for you. <laughs> <laughs> so they buried Jerry and continued the mission. They buried Jerry dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> they were not so very merry. <laughs> Jerry. As they continued, the archer that was with them, Brandy, went back to tell the king of something they learned between last podcast and now, which is that <laughs> <laughs> the dark castle where the princess is being held is sending men to try to take over the fair city. So she went back to warn them. And also, Jerry Dysentery came back from the dead. Oh. Hello! Again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive suddenly somehow. So now we continue with the quest. The Dark Castle, part two. Nice. All right, everybody ready to roll? Let's, Let's do Literally. this. No idea. Was that a pun? I don't think Let's any of the whole people are ready to roll. Oh, I do have one quick question. The whole people. Uh, did we win? Did we win yet? We always no. win. Okay. <laughs> you, okay. You never win in D and D. Right. You only <laughs> lose every minute you play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Tony, I'm going to turn this over to you for good. Uh, go ahead. We're we're ready to roll. I have my wizard. Everybody's got the characters. Everybody's good. Mm-hmm. Chris, can you see or or hear anything? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just so everybody knows, you have a 20 set of die. To roll that any time, you, you need to figure anything out to see if you attack, to see if you do something, roll the 20 set of die. Can I roll that to see if I can do any more podcasts after this? Yes. Quit? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Roll to see if you're having fun. Let's roll. <laughs> and I rolled a four. A no. no. I got a one. <laughs> now roll off the one. All right, so it's a disaster. <laughs> and I, got a, I got a two. If you're doing damage or anything else, roll the six set of die. That's all Wait, you need to know. Wait, do I roll? Because I'm sitting in the castle. There, you calm down. Well, you're going to be... <laughs> you're you're going to be... Princess f- Puss Flaps wants to do everything. You're going to be background <laughs> stuff until the princess makes her big. Don't worry. Entrance. You're going to have your moment. Tony, if I we're... Know if I roll we're all trying... Chris duct taped himself to save you. If we're continuing from our show, should I stick with the same character then? No. That I had last time? All right, I'll do that. Never got one. All right. All right. Andy, go ahead and begin the accompaniment. 
And one more thing, if I guys, if I say role play, that means you got to be in character, in your voice, yeah, talking to everyone else okay. in the game. Okay, got it. Here we yeah, go. Give him these. We'll share. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Thank here we go. He's getting ready. The dungeon master is in the zone right now. The zone of the dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> he has asthma. The Dungeon Master has asthma. In a world where our heroes ride to save the fair princess of the lands of Aris, they will face danger like never before. <laughs> Finally, after a long journey of many days, they arrive at the mountaintop. You sit there at the top of the mountain of mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There you stand triumphantly as you look down very most icily on top of a mountain like and in the distance you see a small town below at the base of the mountain and far off you see the dark dreaded dark castle cue music for dark castle <laughs> <laughs> yes the dark castles with spires that bleed the blood of the devil <laughs> and are darker than his soul as you stand there looking very triumphantly down at the dark castle in the small town we take a small step to the right and look at a completely separate group doing the exact same thing that you are doing. Only Behold, better. Only better. Only slightly better. <laughs> slightly better. 30 feet to your right, standing on a similar peak, is another group. A wizard, a thief, and a barbarian. All standing triumphantly, all looking at the same dark castle. They notice you, and you notice them. Role play. You see each other. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is our job. What job do you speak of? You know what I mean. Aren't you the guy from Blue Ice the Cult? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Eric Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same quest as you. We're looking for the princess first. Our barbarian is a lesbian and must get her immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, that changes everything. <laughs> My name is Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> and she is my piss flaps. <laughs> A surprise twist to the story. <laughs> if you're on the mission and we're on the mission, how are we going to split the reward? <laughs> split? There's no split. Oh, there's I split. will scorch you with fire and brimstone. <laughs> and your... Hick from the south as well. <laughs> Fire and brimstone makes a good barbecue. <laughs> Take it easy, Jerry. <laughs> I get excited about food. <laughs> well, so the two groups stand together and realize they're on the same mission and therefore will travel together. I guess you're okay. <laughs> we'll travel together. <laughs> you seem like decent guys. <laughs> Let's have the broads carry everything. <laughs> Who are you calling them broad? That's why they call them broad swords. Sorry, Eleanor. <laughs> broad shoulders. <laughs> From this vantage point, you can see over its walls of the dark castle, and you see hundreds and hundreds of evil... S I was going to say stormtroopers. <laughs> evil soldiers. Move along. Move Troop along. Oh, okay. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> what is this dark castle preparing for? What evil cause? You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> what are they preparing for? I don't know. Dinner, Jerry. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you begin your climb down the mountain towards a small town. From there, you figure it will be about a day's ride to your final destination. It's going to be like a day's ride. I don't see it taking that long. <laughs> <laughs> You're not using horses because you're climbing down a mountain. <laughs> That's so my knee, dude. I'm old. <laughs> my knee hurts. The wizard's knee. Can we make it a seven-day trip? <laughs> Did any of us really like the princess at all? <laughs> you keep pace to the clicky knee of the wizard. <laughs> the wizard has bursitis. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard lost his hat. Go ahead. You begin your climb down the mountain, and you reach a small town, which is called Shadow. This town is very interesting. In this town, there are many humans and dwarves, and they're all ca carrying different sorts of artisan tools. Hmm. We now shall find ourselves a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer Seattle best. <laughs> okay, so you realize, you realize you've heard of this town, and you know that this town is known for its... And Chris, I'm going to pass it to you. What is this town known for? Prostitutes. <laughs> Prostitutes. I've been here before. 
The first thing you think of is the hairy dwarven female <laughs> prostitutes with their big beards. <laughs> and how exciting that will be. <laughs> you walk into the town. Many wooden buildings, buildings line the path into the center of the town. As you walk, many people look at you. Not many visitors come to the land of shadow. How could that be? They're full of prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hairy prostitutes. I mean, how could that be? It's like Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> you pass an inn. Attempt. Inn, which is an inn in a tavern really called bad. the Sleeve of Wizard. <laughs> 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 Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> you really put it all in here, Tony. Yes. <laughs> As you look around, you see there's something going on. Apparently, some of the people of the town are getting together in the town square. And the mayor, a female, is coming out to make some sort of speech. Perhaps she's a prostitute mayor. <laughs> <laughs> You wonder what the mayor is going to say, and you walk over to here, and let's see what she says. The mayor is making a speech to the townspeople right now. There'll be an orgy here. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Probably just a daily announcement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to go start looking for an apartment here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you reach a town, Ventures. What do you want to do? Perhaps we can stay here a little longer before going to the Dark Castle. <laughs> I think you need something to drink. Your voice is very raspy. <clears throat> Fine, we shall do so. We must first sort out how you and I will get along and how we will work together to save Princess Pissflex. <laughs> I roll a um, diplomacy check on uh, ra- on uh, the wizard, okay. and I want uh, to split it 70-30. <laughs> and that's the diplomacy check I want to roll on him. Okay. So how do I do that? Well, like oh. a haggle ha- ha- check. Or I want to divide that by two <laughs> <laughs> and put $50 on the, uh, <laughs> on the, on the Knicks. Well, let's roll the die and see what kind of... Uh, seven. seven. <laughs> he starts saying some stuff to you, but... He sounds like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> you sound a bit like a moron. Fuck. <laughs> Perhaps I will negotiate with the fine lady. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> I play for keeps. Ooh. I'm taking it all. And I also rolled a seven. <laughs> Is there anyone intelligent in this crew? We are married! You look at the southerner, which appears to be the most intelligent. <laughs> I, uh, Wait, I need another die. <laughs> Rolling the dice. 18! Oh. The southerner has some sort of way with words that you've never seen before. So maybe not all in the tea party are so bad. <laughs> Do you want to help me with looking for an apartment here? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a mission to go on. Do you not know what co- what's happening here? You are you seem to be the most charismatic of the bunch. You are wearing some kind of foolish interplanetary garb, which I do not quite understand. <laughs> However, yet we must work together as there are strength in numbers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What do you wish to do? There is a nearby tavern. You are very hungry and very thirsty. Let's go. Let's, let's I get eat. a turkey leg. Let's go. Look, an Arby's. <laughs> no, it's called Sleeve of Wizard. Oh. Nothing Arby's about it. Let's throw beef sandwiches yeah, either way. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's take a second to listen to Andy. Yes. You have to clink our glasses together and stuff, uh, Muffin. Oh. Yes! Blink! Someone do a shot off my ass! (laughs) There you go. Chris Chris has it. You walk in the inn. Corleo, put your pants back on. (laughs) (laughs) It's not one of those clubs. You walk in the inn. It's bustling with activity today amongst many large wooden tables. All the tables are filled. Just about. In the back, a small halfling dances on a table, and others are throwing copper at his feet. <laughs> Perhaps he's a prostitute. You don't know. A barmaid... Should be half price. A, b- <laughs> a barmaid quickly scurries by with a tray of mead. You, you, can, you think, I am thirsty as well. Mm, maybe I'll get some of that mead. <laughs> I you like see my inner monologue. 
You, you see, you see it. Tony definitely does this by himself at home. Just like puts on headphones. And just I talk to my girlfriend at home. I'm like, uh, what are we having for dinner? <laughs> Macaroni. Ah, let me roll. With me. With, With me. me. With me. You see an empty table and make your way to it before it's gone. You sit down. Do we have any money? Oh. Let's say yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I just hijacked the prostitute outside and took all our money. Excellent. Okay, you sit down. The barmaid comes over. She gives you some drinks. You make your orders. You're having uh, steak and potatoes. <laughs> you haven't eaten in a long time. Feels pretty good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you sit down, the first group, you guys notice a familiar face walk in the bar. Someone you've seen before, but you can't quite place it. Two men walk in. They look at you. They seem to recognize you as well. One leans over and whispers to the other, and then quickly leaves. What do you want to do? Wait, one of them still in there? Yes. I, uh, I gesture to my companions, and I take my sword out a little bit. So let's show them to get ready. Okay. I'm still eating the steak and potato. <laughs> just for the record. Um, I would like to detect magic. Okay. You detect Ooh. magic. The only the magic you detect is on the wizard next to you and on the, one of the thieves here. Oh, wait, hold on. I got one of those. Nice. Yeah. Everyone in the bar looks around. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> you notice also that the thief you've just met, his gloves are lighting up. <laughs> I want to get up from the table and sort of uh, inconspicuously or casually, you know, uh, back up against a wall so I can't get surrounded if this is an altercation. Okay. So. Anybody else want to do anything of interest? Yeah, I want to hide in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll your die. Roll the die. Twenty-seven die. What did you achieve? Eleven. And eleven. You achieved eleven. He walks over to the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hides. like to um, charm the halfling into giving me all his money. The halfling is not really paying attention to you as he's dancing on a table far from the corner. Do you want to go all the way over there I would like to go and over get there. his attention? I would. Okay, so she goes over there and starts going, "Hey, halfling!" <laughs> Try to get his attention because he's literally in the middle of like five thousand people. Five thousand so, people? No, not, not. I said literally, but I meant <laughs> I meant like I meant twenty. Not <laughs> Can I ask why she's hanging out with the halfling while her husband's about to get into a fight? Only <laughs> my husband in real life. Oh, okay. Not fake life. It's out of game, man. You gotta Dude. say out of game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you try to get the halfling's uh, attention. Just tap him. Oh, oh yeah, okay. one second. The halfling does not see you. There's too many people. He's making too much money to care about like the view. I would like to cast a spell. Sure. <laughs> I would like to cast detect thoughts on the stranger. Interesting. Ooh, good one. Ooh. Ooh. And here is my uh, spell noise. <laughs> <laughs> An inside joke. And just for the record, he hums that. <laughs> <laughs> you listen in on the thoughts of the guy, and they sound like this. I hate them. I'm going to get them <laughs> for what they did to me. I would like to intimidate the guy who's thinking those thoughts about us. Okay. I'm, I'm intimidated already. You're roll, on my side. <laughs> roll the die. Roll the die. Oh. And... Uh, still the counts. die has gone to the floor. It's really intimidating. Roll this way. Roll <laughs> Even the die is intimidating. It's a 19. <laughs> oh, I oh, oh, hey. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So w- without thought of what's going on, she just stands up and starts growling. Like, <sighs> and the guy's like, oh, uh, uh, he leaves. <laughs> he walks outside. What do you think? Should we go after him? I go back to the table and finish eating. <laughs> Let's finish eating. He's out of here. You sit back down. Amory, are you still trying to get the attention of the guy of the halfling? Yeah, I want to... Yeah. Okay, you're I still trying to get the attention, to... and you actually do. He looks at you. He sees you, and what? You do a cha-cha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Actually, I do a cha-cha. You do a cha-cha. With him. Besides charming him. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. I'm going to charm go. him by my wiles. Do I have to do a cha-cha now? No. Yes, in real life, do a cha-cha. <laughs> what does that look like? I don't know. <laughs> Starts with the cha and ends with another cha. There you go. Uh, you try to charm him. You're trying to see if it works, but nothing seems to be working. 
I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's like some kind of uh, root canal she's giving herself. <laughs> what? It's the sexiest root canal I've ever seen. This is an unsuccessful chart. That's what it is. Hey. I don't even need dice for this. <laughs> no, I didn't roll. I just watched. I put my die right back down. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have a feeling this halfling might be of a different persuasion. Polio, can you please go and charm the halfling? Yeah, I'd like to go charm him. Okay, roll the die. Okay. <laughs> you try to get the halfling's attempt. Oh, wait, just so you know, you just came out of shadows. Oh, I have to. Oh. oh. Yeah, but the guy's gone. Who cares? Okay. He can't be in shadows. Is he? Is he gone? You walk, you walk out of shadows like a badass and up to the halfling, and I guess you try to, what? What do you do to try to sway him to your side? Ask him to feel my leather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so under the music, or, over, or try to over the music, and over all the people talking, you say, Feel my leather! <laughs> and the athlete just looks at you, and... He's somewhat aroused. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Way to go, polio! <laughs> That's Lady That's why I bring eye candy with me. He makes a, he makes a hand sign like, Call me! <laughs> Actually, I just do one of these. <laughs> right he jumps right off the table. <laughs> I, th- I thought this was going to be a lot sillier than our normal games, but this is exactly like our normal <laughs> games. About the same. About the same. A lot of people, but about the same. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. You see four men come back in. Two of them are the same guys that were there before. And their blades are out and ready to fight. Shit. I mean, oh, shit. Fuck this. <laughs> it's what? on, bitch. One shit. walks up and he points to your group. Remember the forest last time? Oh, yes. No. Yes. I do remember the forest. I caught last Lyme time. disease there. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick for days. <laughs> no, you'll be sick for days. <laughs> they attack you. All right. He pulls out his blade and it really rolls a one. He charges you and it falls on the floor and drops his sword That's like an right. asshole. Asshole. The guy charges in. He charges you, Elf. I'm all the way in the back of the room, though. Oh, that's right. You're that okay. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. So he charges. Oh, oh, he doesn't know you guys, so he charges uh, the southerner, and I'm he misses. Stopping. Yeah. Great. <laughs> they all come in. They can't get around a table. They are the worst guys ever. <laughs> Nothing is being accomplished. Which is why we beat them last time. Yes. <laughs> that's I, why you did so well. Am I still up on the table um, from the halfling dance? Yeah. You're doing your weird cha cha root canal. All right. <laughs> exactly where I want to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you turn around and you all notice what's going on here and obviously the whole party notices. Do we go in turns or? We'll just go around a table real quick to make it make okay. it quick. You can go first, sure. Uh, fireball, bitch. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Fuck. If they're attacking. Okay, uh... let me tell you how that pans out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was nice you knowing gotta, you guys. You got, you got a uh, spell sound for that? Huh? You got a, a fireball sound? Uh, yeah, I think that's something close. This is more lightning, but it'll do. Okay. That's enough. The wizard stands up, utters some words, and a giant fireball. Fuck. Loads up in the wooden building. Oh. Yeah! Maybe. All of a sudden, the entire building lights on fire. But he does 66 damage to the guys and probably incinerates their soul. Let's get out of here before this place burns. I'm already... I and you've killed them all. <laughs> you've also killed some citizens, some prostitutes. That's all right. Fuck them. What about dwarves. what about us? Because I'm uh, right next to the uh, the guy. Oh, which, you target the guy that he was fighting? Yeah, no, but not the guy that Richie was fighting. <laughs> oh, oh, everybody else. else. Uh, the one in the back. All right, uh, right. Uh, oh, the one in the back, eh? Yes. <laughs> okay. Richie, Richie, you're going to take half damage in this. You're going to uh, take 12 damage. Uh, Sorry, bro. He gets hit. The, the whole bar goes on fire. Richie goes flying over the table. I take the halfling's money. First, a ton of <laughs> podcasts. Right pandemonium. Now. Roll the dice. Yeah, see how you do? And you take all the halfling's money in the pandemonium. Eleven. Eleven. Does anyone have a uh, heal you spell that they can cast gold. on my good friend? No. No, I'm no. only prone to dysentery. That's one of my abilities. <laughs> they're, they're all dead. <laughs> You're all dead? No. They're, they're all no. dead, the bad guys? Yes, they are singed. They are done. What kind of wizard are you? I saved this all. While this one was dancing on the table like a fool, we were being attacked. I waved my bag of money. There's a pa- As you guys are talking, there's a panic going on. It's, it's literally like the whole building's on fire. Things are falling down. Maybe we should talk about this outside. <laughs> Maybe let's grab Some extra panic music, food please. and get out. My asthma is acting up. Everyone roll a dexterity check. You're just going to roll a die. Leave it to me to find love. Oh, fuck. In a fire. 
Okay, everything turns to black and white in bad film style, and everyone's running around in, in, in a French farce. 17. 17. If anyone rolls... Nice. Two. Two. What you got? 20. 20, also. I got a 20. If you rolled anything below a 10... Yeah, but you have 18. your dex bonus. Oh, it's plus yeah. four for... Di- so I rolled below a 10 still. Okay. <laughs> Anybody who rolled below a 10, take eight damage. Oh! oh no. Woo! Everyone else, you're outside, and you're standing there... Like people around a car accident. Oh my god, what happened? Did you see it? <laughs> Were you there when it happened? I saw the whole thing. I'm sorry I had to do that. <laughs> but I have all these spells and they look <laughs> fucking cool. You went right to the biggest wood. <laughs> Who's left inside? Who's still in there? Who, who didn't get out? I missed the, the, the roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm in. Right? Who missed the roll? All the- I got out, but I left my doggy bag. Did you miss the roll? No, I got 11. Oh, I don't know what that meant. Okay. okay <laughs> re- re-roll. <laughs> you asked who was inside. It's these dice again. Revenues. I didn't hear you. I only have headphones on. Oh, oh yeah, I got it. Okay. With the, with the bonus. Finally, the, uh, the thief comes out. He looks black. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my brother? I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I just stopped. I was just like waiting. <laughs> okay. You stand outside in a holy place. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Before we move on, can I just say, it's just great that Chris is just sitting there covered in cardboard, just watching. <laughs> He's all ready for battle. <laughs> He's just watching. Soaking it all in, man. You see, actually, you see the uh, sheriff come up. He wants to know what's going on. Men! <laughs> this building cannot be burned down unaccounted for. Too late, bitch! <laughs> Who's responsible for this? I am. For I am here on an important quest. The head prostitute runs up also. Who has money? (laughs) (laughs) My quest has changed. (laughs) My quest is for money for this lady. I will be back in 25, 12 minutes. (laughs) Seconds. Seconds. (laughs) And the prostitute's mother comes up. Who has money? (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Let us leave this forsaken place. (laughs) Sheriff, we have no quarrel with you. We have a much greater quest. I will burn you to death with another (laughs) fireball (laughs) if you dare stand in our way. Leave my town now. Never come back. This place is a dump, dude. I'm out anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Is everyone with me? Yes. Whoever, I, whoever I haven't burned to <laughs> Chris <laughs> fucking burned me. They're like, they're like uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, put some Robitussin on it. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, you leave the town or you stay? Or what do you want to do? We're, we're going. Let's we gotta leave. go. Let's leave. Yeah, we're probably not gonna be hanging much longer. But we take the prostitute with us. And my mother. It gets lonely <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> prostitute, do you go with them? I would like to join them if I can bring my mother. <laughs> nah, fuck that. It's a buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> sure. If you'd like to bring your mother. Yeah, she a- can. She <laughs> can bring her mother. Okay, you and your mother come. <laughs> Are we bringing a halfling? No. Why? We can't bring everybody. Why no, he's dead. It's not a party. Eleanor. Oh, you left him there? Yeah, you died. <laughs> I took all his money. <laughs> he's dead. Oh, my God. He's dead and broke. And Amory stole all his gold. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We, we are on an important mission. We have no time for prostitutes yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe they have other skill sets. Come on. <laughs> I have no gag reflex. (laughs) (laughs) See, I told you. Come along with us. (laughs) And your mother, too. (laughs) So you begin your journey with the two added prostitutes to your party. (laughs) I would like the southerner to drag the mother in a sack. (laughs) Wow. Do you mean the bed or an actual burlap bag? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) You do it right. (laughs) As you walk to the outskirts of the town with your new party members, a guy, a guy, <laughs> a dude. There's a lot of thoughts in my head, so sometimes, so. a guy comes over. He has stubble, kind of like me. So dramatic right now. He walks up. Eh, hey, what are you doing? You are adventurers, right? Who wants to know? I do. I just asked you. What's your name? I am Jacques. I don't trust French people. (laughs) (laughs) You also have a funny voice. (laughs) Listen, I know you are the adventurers from the capital city. You are going to the Dark Castle, right? Nobody say anything. Maybe. 
She's scary. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation succeeded. You are talking. You are talking to me. Yes. I don't talk to barbarians. You're filthy. You will speak Ooh. to our barbarian, or you will burn the same fate as the villagers have. How many fireballs? Did you you give will him? show. <laughs> far 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 too many. <laughs> you will not only speak to her. You will grant her the right to vote. <laughs> yes, yeah, show some respect. Uh, I don't know about this uh, voting shit, but I have some information for you. <laughs> okay. I used to work for the Dark Castle. It's very dark in there, so I quit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another story. I have something something you may want. Information. I have something you might want. <laughs> <laughs> he went right for the Frenchman, didn't he? <laughs> Get the information, and then you can suck his dick. Listen, listen. <laughs> it's the neck. It's the neck. Neckerchief. The dark castle is impenetrable. <laughs> it's impossible to get inside, but I know a way. So it's not that impossible because I know a way. <laughs> oh, I'm going to penetrate it. I hope it's the back door. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> it's kind of like a back door if the back door was underneath it. <laughs> What's this going to cost us? One prostitute. <laughs> the I'll mother. <laughs> I'll take one of your prostitutes and 100 gold. How about two prostitutes? Deal. No, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you just gave away all the prostitutes. You drive we'll, a hard we'll get more. It gets lonely in the woods, Eleanor. I'll, yep. take, I'll take the thief over there as well. No, you no, cannot you get have two a thief. prostitutes. This is why. And I, I won't take your ears. How about how about one prostitute and one pee? This is what you can have. <laughs> and one what? One prostitute and one pee touch. <laughs> <laughs> Make it two pee touches. <laughs> it's okay. been a long week. Deal, deal, deal. Two pee touches. I like. <laughs> I like this. this is the oddest currency. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best way to deal with things. <laughs> you in? Yes or no? Tell me. I wonder. I'm I'm in it to win it. Okay. Fine. I say so. Deal. What are we giving up? We're just touching his dick. Time? One prostitute, <laughs> and he's gonna touch his. Dick. Which prostitute? Well, I, Leo, I, I want the, the, old, the I mother. I want no. the cougar. The cougar. Yes, I you like can her. have. You can have the mother. She's dragging us down anyway. Jace, Jace, the mother. No teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's nineteen. She's way too old for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, roll for the pee pee touch. <laughs> you know he's getting a twenty. You know it. Franco's rolling. Nineteen. Nineteen. 19. Yeah. <laughs> That was the best PP touch I have ever had in my life. <laughs> come on, old whore, come with me. <laughs> now I will tell you the information that you want to know so badly. Do you like that big dick? <laughs> yes, it's great. great. <laughs> when, you, when you get to the castle, there will be a guy. He is on top of the castle, and you have to talk to him. He's becoming right? Italian, Frenchman. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> he's on like the top of the head. castle. You don't know where I come from. <laughs> it's a fantasy world. Okay. <laughs> so you don't know. Anyway, when you get there, there is a moat. It goes around the entire thing. If you swim into the moat, and you find a grate underneath, <laughs> you'll be very wet. But if you find a grate, you can swim up into the well that is inside the walls. It's either that or go to the front door, assholes, so figure out what you want to do. Mm. The moat gets us in sneaking. We must speak. You have, to, you have to distract the gatekeeper. Oh, prostitute. <laughs> Did we just Holy get rid of all our prostitutes? No, I've just taken just one. And oh. I, and yes. I'll see you later. Okay, so what do we do? We can dis- distract the gatekeeper. And we have to get there first. I mean, it's kind of like implied that we're going to wind up there now. <laughs> Does anything happen in our travels? I don't know. We keep meeting prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Dark Castle is sh- straight ahead about four miles. Okay. Let's I will jump on the southerner's back and we will go. <laughs> <laughs> you see some nearby horses, actually. Ah, thank God. <laughs> and you decide to ride through the hills. <laughs> we're, tr- we're trotting instead. Oh, hey, got some riding music. Oh. You begin your riding. It's a very snowy terrain. <laughs> you ride like you've never ridden before, except for the prostitute, who has ridden before just like this. You pass small penguins and polar bears on the snowy terrain. Oh you must break them. <laughs> I will break you. I, I want to cook one of the penguins. <laughs> you pass Drago, who's training, and you pass Rocky, who's also training. <laughs> Hey, go. Get one of them whores. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to the dark castle, okay? He's eating thunder and shitting lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, your riding ends. Whew. Yes. I'm chafing. 
<laughs> you now stare at the, at the infamous dark castle. You are about 300 feet away, behind a rock that fits perfectly all of you. <laughs> no more, no less. This is a big rock. <laughs> okay, you're thinking of a plan. You see the dark castle. It goes up about 100 feet in the air. Giant black gates. Impenetrable, as you are told. You see that there, are, there is a man about every 50 feet standing guard on the castle. Evil surrounds this area. What will you do? How far are we from the uh, moat? You are about 250 feet away from the moat. Okay, and if we if we get behind the rock, we're instantly visible, right? Yes, we'll be out in the open. All right. Can uh, we all swim? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Um, everyone could swim naturally. Um, if you have a high strength, you're very good at swimming. I, I did just eat steak and potatoes, so I want to wait 30 minutes, if that's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you, you just rode for a very long time. Yeah, that's true. So you're good. Uh, back your, in, back your, in character. Your horse shouldn't <laughs> the, swim the right now. The wizard is bound. <laughs> <laughs> it's bound up. <laughs> well, I think we need to do, uh, I think we need to send one of the prostitutes to the left to distract all their sight, we and then we go to the right. I like it. I agreed. Prostitute, will you agree? I have, I, I will give you, uh, here's one gold piece. Kindly disrobe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's colder out here Slower. than Slower! <laughs> <laughs> Dungeon, she should roll to see what she looks like naked. Uh, she, well, she's a, she has an 18 charisma, right? Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, princess. it's for the princess. Yeah, yeah, well, we don't know what it is. <laughs> this is no princess. This is okay. a prostitute. I honestly, a one. I don't think a roll is necessary in this case, but go ahead. <laughs> roll, 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 a D, roll a regular D6 three times. She's a bearded prostitute. Roll three times. <laughs> Wait, who gave yeah, her a beard? One. <laughs> the square one. did before. <laughs> Damn it. What'd you roll? Okay, keep going. Six. Oh shit. Okay. Six. You summon oh, Satan. Oh, oh, <laughs> she, she pulls off her clothes. She's the hottest like satanic girl I've ever seen. She has tattoos of all this crazy shit. You can't Whoa. even see the chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't see the chlamydia. I would let you come anywhere you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> For one pence. <laughs> Swing in my vagina. <laughs> So moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wish to do, prostitute? How will you flirt your 18 charisma? I wish to. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she has to phrase it, I wish to. I wish to. I wish to, <laughs> I wish to stay behind the rock. Oh, fuck. No. No. Fireball. <laughs> 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 it's going to heat this shit up. <laughs> okay, so the prostitute takes off all her clothes in the snowy terrain and sits behind the rock. And we've already moved out, right? Uh, uh, Honestly, I'm good right here. <laughs> no, you ha- no, you haven't moved yet. You haven't moved yet. So she just, she just sat down, though. So your plan is just not so really moving right I now. C- uh, okay, so what do I do to persuade the prostitute? You have to literally, to, since to she's a character, you have to literally persuade her. <laughs> do you... <laughs> <laughs> may I ask you a question, prostitute? You may. Have you ever had a fair love? I've had seven <laughs> today. <laughs> Our barbarian Eleanor Roosevelt has the truest love of all, the lesbianic love that she has for Princess Pissflaps. Do you know anything about scissors? <laughs> They're deadly. Can you please In this case. help us? Help Eleanor Roosevelt I to pre- find her love. You don't have to get dressed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just to answer the question. I believe I can. Thank you. So, what would you? What can you do to distract? I can sacrifice gate? myself to the alligators in the moat. There are no alligators in the moat. <laughs> <laughs> but you can flail around in the water for a while and pretend. Oh, but if I you could not run to the moat and run in the other way. That's all she needs so to do. So we can go into the moat. Which direction am I running? <laughs> left. <laughs> this prostitute is a pain in the ass. <laughs> you can just run left. I'm going to run to the left. And then do some squats. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be... <laughs> are you familiar with Zumba? <laughs> <laughs> a few leg lifts. Is this what you do, prostitute? I will do this. Thank you, prostitute. And if I have any gold left, I don't know if I do, as the dungeon master's handwriting is. Yes, you do. Okay, I give you some gold. Just uh, 
you might have to find a creative place to put it until you find your clothes. <laughs> Squats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, prostitute. We will come back for you. I will be here waiting. We probably won't come back for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you venture to the right. As the prostitute ventures to the left, flailing, squatting, jumping, <laughs> everything she can do. Let's roll to see what happens. Oh, crap. The guards take note of... Don't see her yet. Still don't see her. Still don't see her. <laughs> Squat bigger! <laughs> <laughs> she does some cartwheels, and all of a sudden the guard's like, Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ow! <laughs> and the guards have noticed. The lead guard actually notices up top the captain of the watch. Men! That is the sexiest coin purse I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> She's shitting pants. <laughs> That's our cue, guys. Into the moat. Yeah. Captain, what do we do? Quick to the field, collect the pence, slay the woman. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Got it. Let's go. They want to kill her. Uh, we, we, we make a break for it. Well, Book. Yeah, it's later. It's later, prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Getting. You guys all run. Everybody roll a 20 instead of die. Oh, God. If you roll a five or below, you don't get there in time before the guards come. Oh, oh one. stop rolling. Raise your hand if you rolled a one or t- one to five. Okay, everyone. Is this a dex oh, check? Oh, polio. Yeah, this dex. So, should, can I add you, my modifier? 17. Yeah, you fell too? Yeah. What'd you, what'd you roll? A one. Oh, you told a oh, one. You definitely don't make it. What'd you roll? I rolled a three, but I have an 18 uh, dex. Okay, so you, you do make it. I have 18 dicks? Okay. I have 18 dicks. <laughs> 18 dicks. And I use all my dicks to run really fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a spider. Dick, 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 Okay, so you all run and you jump in the moat. And all of a sudden you see uh, the guards open the gate. All the, every guard runs out because they're all horny and <laughs> just sitting in a castle all day. I have yep. three yep. orifices. <laughs> <laughs> As they're about to see you and go after you, they hear that she has three orifices, and they just look, and they just run off. You have one second to act, react, and do something, but they don't care about you. Okay, so I, I'm really into the mic. Into the mic. Wait, I'm really fast, right? Yeah. So you can, you have one round to do something. No uh, shit. I can do anything. Anything Anything on your sheet. Anything on my sheet. Yeah. Or anything in general, right? Any anything you want. Okay, so I just haul ass and fucking. get Okay, so they're about to get you. They they hear what she says, then they run. Forget this guy. We don't care. And you dive into the water. You're all under the water. That's the sound of water. You're going underneath. You all come across. You only have so much time down here, by the way, because you're swimming. You come across the grate. And you see above the grate is a shaft. Don't make a joke. Of the well. <laughs> Just like someone else is getting the shaft right outside the castle walls. Why couldn't it have been me? Um, the gr- <laughs> you had your chance. You ran. Uh, the grate is locked. It requires the stealthy hand of a, th- of a thief. All right, Alan. Here we go. You reach into your watery pocket and pull out your, wa- <laughs> your watery pick <laughs> and wedge it into the watery lock. Let's see what happens. Four. <laughs> oh, I can't quite get it. Everyone's okay, but it's not run out of breath. You can try again. Um, can I? Um, can I? Sick? Is he in the water? Is uh? What's what's your character name again? Lady uh, Bird. <laughs> Lady Bird Polio. Is Lady Bird Polio in the water? Uh, you you actually as you look, you see him just coming to the water now. I I'm I gesture to him to help me open the lock. All right, so okay. that's what I do. He's I waving you over. So walk over. He's coming over right now. We swim over, and uh, you have another round to try if you want. Eleven. Eleven. Not high enough. You can't quite get it open. You. You swim over. You see that you're struggling with a lock. So I go and try to pick the lock. Go, Lady Bird. Natural 20. Oh, yeah! yeah. Lady Bird. He says a watery, I got this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he opens up the grate. Everyone who's now suffering swims up to the top. You get to the top of the well. <laughs> and everything seems to be okay for just for a moment. Right. My gout is acting up. <laughs> Besides the gout, everything else is okay. I have two in my ears. <laughs> as we reach the part where you p- poke your one, two, three, four, five, five, six heads out of the water, you look around. And written in the story, this would have been a problem because there would have been many guards around. So this would have been a hard part. But since they're all outside banging a prostitute with three horses. <laughs> I am around. a filthy whore. <laughs> <laughs> so now you may do whatever you like. So there are no guards around. What uh, do you want to do? I want to search. Roll a search check. One. What's wrong with you? 
sorry. Oh. Oh you all start checking. You're staring at the wall. <laughs> I'm the most inept thief. Anybody ever. else want to try? Uh, I'll try to check for something. Sure. Go, Lady Bird. <laughs> Eight. Eight. You look around. You don't see much. Like Elf has what? eaten all the food lately. Would you right? Give me this. I got it. Four. Everyone is terrible at seeing. <laughs> the southerner will do it. <laughs> so that, is this a nine or a six? Oh my <laughs> god. Does it matter? Either okay, way. Bar- barbarian, roll this die, please. <laughs> roll it well. There you go. Oh. Uh. <laughs> There's nothing in the room. <laughs> Everyone. The quest over. Wizard. <laughs> Worry not, for the wizard will happen. Perhaps you need the eyes of a prostitute. That looks like a a one to me. No, it's a 13. A 13. Okay, taken. I will take it. Yes. (laughs) Everyone has water in their eyes, and they're all like, I don't see anything. I see water. (laughs) (laughs) The wizard pokes his head and hat out of the water, looks around. You see a keep, obviously your destination, but the keep has a big door that looks like it's locked. You could try to go to the front door. You also know some open windows high on the second floor of the keep. What do you wish to do? Throw a ladybird up there. I am actually a really good climber. <laughs> that's one of my that's one of my strengths. Oh, that's one of my abilities too. I have feet of great strength. Can I break through it? You can try anything you like. Can I try to break through it? You can try anything you like. Wait, what? What are you trying to break through the door? Yeah. Well, okay, so the barbarian jumps. Well, whoosh, and she runs over, <laughs> and she goes. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, she goes. Ah, using a weapon. You have a club and an axe. I want to use the club. Education. I want to use the giant club. <laughs> so she pulls out this ridiculous club that's on her back, and she goes, ah, and she bangs the door. Nothing happens yet, but it gets a little tiny crack. Can I bang it again? It, wait. Yes. <laughs> I, wait, wait. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. I checked to see if the door is lo- actually locked. <laughs> you checked the door. It is indeed locked. Oh, you went over. <laughs> wait, so describe the room again one, one more time. You're not in a room. You're outside. We're outside, yeah, and so there's is, an is opening it, up top, you it, said? Yeah, there, there's a keep in the middle. And like the paper over here is the grounds, so you're actually running into the keep. You're still outside. You're Barbarian, just, hold! Can I try to pick it, or is it the giant? It's too, yeah, oh, it's too big. Gi- oh, I cracked it. Never mind. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> do we see anybody up? T- do I see anybody up top? No. As of right now, the windows are open. There's nobody up top, but you don't know how long it'll take to okay. deal wait. with a prostitute. I fly up there. I fly. Nice. I fly, I fly you can up continue there. what you're doing if you like. Of course. Oh. You have to decide. I want to fly. I'll keep cracking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can roll and you can roll. You can roll through your own things. I rolled an 18. Nice. Okay. 18. You cast fly. And you fly. I try to get to the other side and open the door for everybody. It's not outside. It's a keep. It's a building. But there's not like a way I can fly into the building? There's no, no windows? You can fly into the building, but you can't like just... That's just, what I mean. Like you, It's like you're saying like, okay, I go inside and I win the game. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of steps. All right, all right. So I... You fly into a window. Okay. Okay, now you roll. She can fly? <laughs> this is impressive. 20. Natural 20. Woo! She's like, fuck this! <laughs> You put a hole right through the whole thing with some crazy, amazing strength. <laughs> She's drooling everything. Eleanor Bacon! <laughs> I think she said Eleanor Bacon. <laughs> you reach. Someone reaches in. Who wants to reach in to open the door? I'll, I'll reach will. in. Who? I'll reach in. Okay. Totally I can't see you. I never know when you're talking. I don't know where <laughs> oh. it's coming from. Yeah, welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> you reach in and you unlock the door and you kind of pull the uh, the wood off of the uh, the, the gate and uh. the door is open. Inside, you see two <laughs> guards that are like stunned. <laughs> they pull out the swords like, uh... I want to shoot an arrow. Go ahead, shoot. Yeah, someone else wants to do it. Who wants to attack? Uh, four. <laughs> I, I will. I'll, ta- I'll keep attacking. Shit. Okay. You can roll. You can charge. You have to give you a barbaric y'all. <laughs> you fire an arrow, hits the wall. Cling, cling, cling. Can I backstab? Uh, not right now because they're right in front of you. You have to hide in shadows first. Oh, I'd like to hide in the shadows. Okay, you jump in and try to roll into the shadows. Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. You roll into the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally in there. I'm in there. Ten. Ten, but with your strength bonus, you hit. Nice. You went over the club. <laughs> You bash him. Roll this twice and times by two. Six. Oh, are we giving strength bonuses when we roll for taxes? I'm giving her a strength bonus. I give you guys dexterity bonuses. All right, just check it. You just six. You roll again. One, seven, fourteen. You take the guys out. She goes over and clobs the guy in the head. You see him literally just go like this, just hit the ground, and he's completely nice. out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Eleanor. Thanks. Anybody else want to take an action? 
Uh, Are they all gone? No, there's one more guy. Okay, shoot again. Did, no, oh, someone else oh. didn't go. I'll go. I have a a, 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 a spit attack. The southerner goes up to the guy and he and he southern spits in his face. I have to roll for that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you just spit anywhere you want? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Ooh. Twelve. You spit in his armor, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's just spit. <laughs> Can I split it? Can I try it again and split Anybody else? Face? Wizards. Wizard sorcerer. Anybody I'm want to do anything? I have flown. Oh, you're upstairs still. You're yes. running around the room. I'll tell you what you see in a second. Magic missile. Magic. Ooh. <laughs> That's Magic what you want to call. Everybody push your glasses up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Magic missile. That actually <laughs> effectively worked for moving my glasses right now. Roll uh, 2d6. Wait, what is For all the D&D players out there, these are not actual scores. Not actual stats. <laughs> We've modified these stats. Ooh. Ooh. Roll it again. Roll one more time. You rolled a six. And a three. And a three. Nine damage. Psh, psh. He gets hurt. He's hurt, but he's, he's not hurt. down. It's fucking magic, bro. Yeah, he don't like it, <laughs> but he's still up. Wait, I'm still hiding in the shadows? Um, yeah, well, now, now it's actually... I think everybody's done. Yeah, so, so we this get another round. Second round, if you like, you can make your attack. Yeah, I'd like to backstab. I sure, know you would. Does he? <laughs> but he doesn't attack back? Is he just taking a beat? Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do this to attack you. Yeah. Right, right. Thank you. Wow, Rob's schooling us on how to play Dungeons My, and Dragons. The 13-year-old Rob just came out. <laughs> <laughs> he gets um, an attack. Um, excuse me. Um. <laughs> he takes his blade. He's actually shaking because there's like six of you, one of him. He, he attacks uh, He takes over, attacks Richie. Fuck! Actually, he attacks you, I'm sorry, with the barbarian because you're right there. And he just completely misses you when you just move out of the way. And Nothing to be done. So at, at this <laughs> point now, I'm going to try the to vapors. sneak up on so him. You, yes. <laughs> That's a one. You rolled a one again? Yeah. <laughs> roll off the one. Roll, roll again. See how bad the one is. Let's see how bad it is. Is it another one? Ten. Ten. Okay, you run up. He runs up like, ah, and he drops his blade and trips and just falls to the floor right behind him. <laughs> and you're all like, we don't know what that was. <laughs> so useless. Make your attack. You can fire your arrow. I want to try a precise shot to get it in his helmet. Okay, go. Roll the die. Roll the die. Roll the die. Uh, Fourteen. 14. Okay, you achieve it. You hit him right in the head. Yeah, Richie! Woo! He only has about two left. You take him out. (laughs) (laughs) He screams. Anne-Marie, you um, fly fly into the room. You land, and apparently it's some sort of bedroom. You don't know who it is. But there's a man who seems to be like a noble. He has long blonde hair, and he's very feminine, and he's very startled. Lady with wings, <laughs> come rub my feet. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? <laughs> it's no business of yours. I walk out of the room. You try to stop her or come anything? Come back! <laughs> he just cries. <laughs> Was there, um, can I search the room? Is there anything going on in this room? Like, Oh, there's fishy? something going on. <laughs> He's doing his hair. One okay. one thousand, <laughs> two one thousand. <laughs> you want to search his room while he's sitting there? Or? No, no, I just wanted to do a quick glance. <laughs> you, you, you open the, read the door again, just look back in, and you're like, <laughs> think better of it. <laughs> <laughs> you see there are steps going down, and um, you can hear everybody fighting downstairs. And you hear a guy hit the ground, and you hear the, yeah, the who's scream. Yeah! <laughs> is there so if you're a time, that just happened. Is there a, is there a staircase going up? Uh, there is a staircase going up. Also, now you guys, with the two uh, guys on the floor, you see there's a staircase going very down to a very dark, dark place. Before we do anything, I'd like to loot the bodies. You check the bodies. Wow. Good call. Check the anus. <laughs> <laughs> you find a total of six Ebola. gold. That's how you get a bowl of Yeah, first we gotta look inside the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's really how you get Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> a bowl I don't think that's a, a who question. A bowl of what? <laughs> a bowl of soup? There it is. <laughs> who said that? Yeah. That was me. Oh, no, he said he said who. Said who? And we both said a bowl, bowl of, of what? what? Somebody say who? <laughs> 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 that's, that's what you do when you get a bola. You scream like that. <laughs> okay, Amory, do you want to go downstairs or upstairs? And everybody on the ground, do you want to go downstairs or upstairs? I meet up with the party downstairs. Okay, you're all together. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Howdy. I say we go down. Hey. Yeah, I agree. We need to find the dungeon. <laughs> Always got to go down. There's your sound bite. <laughs> we cut to outside. Oh, fuck Lori on a McDonald's counter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just heard what I said. Outside, <laughs> prostitute. So sorry, Lori. Prostitute, roll 20 instead of die to see how the situation went for you. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. 
What did you roll? I must know. I rolled a four. <laughs> it didn't end well. <laughs> <laughs> For who? She never came. <laughs> For her. And we leave it at that. Okay. You uh, begin your descent down the steps <clears throat> into what appears to be absolute darkness. I cast light. You cast light in the absolute darkness, and now it's not absolutely dark anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You, <laughs> you, you walk down the steps. It's about 25 steps in all. You come down to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> and the music changes. Sometimes it confuses me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I want to DM something different when he does that. It's, it's fantastic, though. It lives to tell again. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the, uh, the music. Okay, you guys go down to the next level. And you go into a room. This room has three doors. It is square. It is about 30 by 30. In the center of the room is a small little fountain. The doors are wooden. And that is it. Oh, this sounds like a fucking Tony a puzzle. puzzle. Oh, <laughs> God. No. There are three candles. Uh, check for traps. Search. All that stuff. Okay. <laughs> I bought the soundtrack that at the would local be a tavern. Five. five. You find no traps, and you're feeling good about that decision. Yeah. <laughs> All clear, guys. <laughs> Do we want to look into the fountain? Do we still have light? You, yeah. have, you have light because okay. of the elven sorcerer. Anybody? What do you want to do? The floor's open to everyone. I say we just open one. We split up into three groups <laughs> and go into these doors, <laughs> right? You no. could do that. I was suggesting together because it's quicker yes. for time. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's all stay together and open the first door. <laughs> Should we look at the fountain first? No, on the way the to the door? Yeah, the fountain's kind of the probably what's going on. It's right, right in the middle. So should we just go to the fountain? I then? think... I try to open the door. I'd say go, I'd say let's open the door. <laughs> Is the fountain Who wet does or something th- instead of talking about it? I, can't I try talk. to open the door. Okay, she yes. runs over to which door? Door number one or door number two? The one in the middle. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. You go to the middle door. Open it? I try. Okay. Yeah. Locked. Alright, so I picked the lock. The thief comes over to pick the lock. While he's picking that lock, I try another door. Okay. Anybody else want to do anything? Anybody else? Is I the fountain wet or dry? <laughs> is there water flowing out of it? Are you over there? Oh, it's, it's, it's wet. Oh. It's water. Just ask. You can roll a die for the, uh, oh, yeah. for the door. Thirteen. Thirteen. The door opens right up. You see, there's another corridor to walk down. What do you want to do? I say we walk down the corridor. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> go with him. Does everybody leave the room? Yes. Uh, yes, I follow I, them. I, I, I we all through. do. I, I want to go. Should I, do you, should I stand guard by the door? Just to let you guys know if somebody's coming? No, come with us. Eh, fuck it. Come <laughs> with us. Whoever comes behind us. I say that in game. We'll be vanquished. <laughs> in fact, you go first. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Actually, uh, can I, um, since we're in a new place, um, ask, ask, since we're in a new place, can I search again the corridor? Yes. Okay. Let's try for something higher than the six this time. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Two. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst roller. I'm so bad at rolling. I actually don't trust your search, so I'm gonna search he, again. As you start searching, he's like, "There is no no traps in All here." All clear. Let's go. And I feel confident about that. I said, "Roll this." Six. Don't bother. I already searched. Don't bother. <laughs> he's like, "You're right. There's no traps in here. It's gr- it's <laughs> fine. Everybody, no I also search. barbarian, free to go. Damn, it's a three. You don't know what you're doing." I need to get rid of this guy. <laughs> okay, what do you guys want to do? You see, at the end of the car door is a door. I just walk like it's it's, it's all clear. I walk like this. You start walking through, and all of a sudden, a trap. Fuck. Out of the walls. <laughs> Arrows. Fuck that, they hit you. You are hit by four arrows. Four, two, six, seven, eight. Eight damage. Oh my god. Oh no. That was the end of that. The arrows do a full volley across the whole hallway. In about five seconds, they do it again. Well, I'm the fastest. Can I just run through? You can try. Yeah, I want to try to. Yeah, way to save yourself, guy. (laughs) Roll a 15 or above. Natural 20. Roll the 20. He does a crazy cartwheel, a flip, uh, a Luke uh, Skywalker kind of uh, somersault in the air. It's more like Catherine Zeta-Jones. Am I just Jones. standing there? <laughs> <laughs> no, you move to the side. You finish. You, you actually ran to the side, but you got hit very badly. Um, the thief gets to the other side as well. Rest of the party, what do you want to do? 
Is it is, is the trap still going? Yeah, every five seconds. Is, is it, it, it does out. it spray the hole? Is there a place that's not in the line of the trap? Hard to tell where you're at. Can I yell something out? Yes. To uh, polio. What's <laughs> up, bud? <laughs> we we got to search for the lock mechanism, for the trap mechanism. All right, I'm on the other side. Let me see if I can find something here. Do we get like a, syner- a synergy <laughs> bonus to this? Yeah, search? you're both the same spot, so you can both search. All right, ready? here we go. Oh, 14. Finally, 15. You guys find it. I just switched the dice. <laughs> There's a little box on, on the uh, Loaded on dice, the floor. eh? <laughs> Help me get this thing off. All right, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Spot me. <laughs> so many okay, sound Okay, who wants to take the roll? If you fail the roll... You got it. Something bad might happen. It's a five. Fuck. <laughs> five. <laughs> we see a break off. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. Well, there goes that. We we'll uh, have to run through the arrows, everyone. So, is everybody not anybody not go forward from this point on? I still yeah. want to check the fountain. <laughs> you could check the fountain. Yeah, I'm just check the check fountain. Check the fountain. So we're just stuck at one side, and you guys are going right. in game. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> <laughs> you walk over to the fountain. Fourteen. Fourteen. You find something very interesting. You're all sitting there trying to deal with this trap. Some of you may notice that the barbarian has walked back to the fountain. She puts her head over to the fountain. You see your image of yourself, and you're entranced <laughs> with it. Oh, wow. And you look at it, and you start like, I'm so beautiful. <laughs> I'm a barbarian, but I'm so beautiful. <laughs> you start fixing your hair. I like myself the way I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it. People like me. Big is beautiful. (laughs) (laughs) All of a sudden, you reach into the water, and everyone you see here (laughs) just appears. Where does she go? You don't know. Oh, she disappeared. I disappeared? She disappears. Is she going to, like, Lesbo Limbo? (laughs) (laughs) I can only hope. (laughs) The domain of I like myself. (laughs) So the barbarian has now disappeared to who knows where. Maybe we should follow her into the fountain. There goes our muscle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with Rob. Let's go check the fountain. All Let's of us. all go into the fountain. That's a great idea. Stuck. That we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Can we just roll the dice to see if we can like finally pick this? Well, thing? You no, it's, it's, it's busted. Two oh, thieves, two fucked. thieves. You're past the the, yeah. uh, the arrows. The rest of you are not. So one, two. Actually, just two of you now. So we have to roll to see if we get through. Yeah. No, if you want, if you want, no, no, if you want to go through, or you want to go back to the fountain. I want to go through. Twelve plus 12. my dex. Dicks. My dicks. What's your dexterity? <laughs> 12. So f- not enough. Close. 13. 8, 12. You take 18 damage. Oh. Oh. Southerner. Uh. Jerry. <laughs> Is that your damage, Jerry? Oh. 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 I got damage. <laughs> <laughs> they told me I wouldn't get hurt on this quest. Jerry, do you want to go through? I want to go back to the fountain as well. Okay, you look at the fountain. I want to wash my buddy. <laughs> Do you look into the fountain? Put my testicles in a dip. <laughs> you dip your balls into the fountain? Yes. Can I roll for that? You get, yeah. Just, roll, just roll it up. your balls vanish. <laughs> roll it up. <laughs> to see how moist they get. 17. Ooh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> are we rolling to see how moist your balls are? Or are we rolling to see what happens? You I'm going to venture they're already moist. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> are you looking down at your, at your balls in the fountain, Jerry? Yes, but I want to I wanna roll and see what happens to me. That's what you just did. Yeah, yeah so 17. 17, so what happens to me? Okay, you look down at your balls, Jerry. <laughs> and what you notice is something very startling. They're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> <Balls>. <laughs> I've never quite been looking at them before. <laughs> I love the music for your balls. <laughs> one, one is your so balls have a motif. <laughs> one is so round and one is sort of ablong. <laughs> I like it. And all of a sudden, it's like a lowercase p. You, you, guys, you guys look back in slow motion. You look at Jerry and you're like, Jerry. And the last thing you hear him say is, Those balls are beautiful. <laughs> My balls. He disappears into the unknown. <laughs> I'm a friend. <laughs> We're both now, in the unknown. Two adventurers are gone. <laughs> Yet, your quest is not done. I'm going in. You think for the first You're going time. Going to the fountain. Let's all go in to the fountain. You're all yep. going to the fountain. Yeah. yeah. But we have to get past the 
Arrows again. Uh, Shit, yeah. let's run back. Wait, can you we? You wonder if the fountain is your journey or the other way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Should we just disappearing, try- man? We gotta go. <laughs> we gotta figure all right, it out. Um, so I'm on the other side of the arrows right now. Yes. And let's, there's a door there? Yes, let's actually, all three of you are there. One, two, three. We should okay. at least see what's in this door yeah, before we go it. back. Yeah. All right. All right. So who's rolling to try to pick this lock? Is it, is, is it is the unlocked? door locked? Well, the rest of us will this join. This door is them. locked. I guess we should all join. Oh, I'm sorry. You to go across. No. Okay, got it. I was watching. Look at his balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go to the ball. He's now. still there, like man. <laughs> his balls were beautiful. So what do I have to roll? Or? Yeah. So you going through the arrows? Can I? Yeah. Okay, can roll. I help him? Can I like help him time when he goes across so he gets across safely? No one. Uh, okay. You want to aid him? Go ahead. Yeah. Roll. Shut up. I'll give him plus two. <laughs> I don't need you. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Nice. I'll give you plus one. Fourteen. 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 Fifteen. You got it. Actually, yeah, it helped you. Look at brother. that. Ooh, One of the twin powers like, activated. He's like right. left, right, forward, shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> you get through. Never get no told. damage done. <laughs> he looks like Catherine Zeta Jones in Entrapment. <laughs> you know what oh. I mean? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, you get to the other side. You open the door. Oh, we have to try to open the yes. door, right? Yes. The door is locked. <sighs> you may pick the lock. You don't have any keys down here. I'm not having a good rolling day here, but <laughs> the roll master rolls a die. Oh. 17. 17. Nice. Unknown to success. <laughs> you see, usually like, it didn't work, and the door opens. Oh, I mean, it did work. A single tear rolls down my cheek. <laughs> I'm the best thief ever. That's not a tear. That's sweat. <laughs> you guys walk into the next room. The room opens up to be about 15 feet wide. In the center of this room, there are four statues. One and one and one and one. Two on each side for those at home. Playing at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, here and I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so you, as you walk, if you were to walk through the room, there'd be a statue on your right and your left, and you'd mm. walk further, a statue on your right and the left, and then you'd walk further and there would be a door. Okay. Everyone got it? That's yeah. some Tomb Raider shit now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> mysterious music. On the uh, far wall, where the door is, you see that there is a lever to the left and there's a lever to the right. The door also has its own lock and everything else. So it does not look like the levers are attached to the door, or maybe they are. You don't know. <laughs> what do the statues look like? I'm glad you asked. The first two statues are, are of great wizards. You don't know who they are. You don't know. <laughs> on, on what side? The right side? Or actually, whatever? both left and right are the wizards. Oh, the the next two round. are actually warriors. They're holding swords, like right in front of them. Halt! Nobody move. So, uh, I guess... I really wasn't going I anyway. detect magic. <laughs> Detect magic. magic. Shh. Magic is detectives. I made that up. <laughs> magic is detectives. <laughs> it's like the coolest detect magic noise. And that's, that's a fireball right there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I didn't fucking name it. You dude. found it. You didn't have one you Before, burned the fucking building down. We had, we had lightning effect for fire. <laughs> you check detect magic, and you see that the statues all light up blue. There's a powerful spell over these statues. Oh. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Can I do a search to see if there's any uh, physical traps? Uh, right where you're standing? Yeah. Okay. Like if we're going to well, trip just, something. Well, wait a minute. Maybe not where you're standing. <laughs> Ooh. The way he <laughs> asked right where you're standing. I want to see if, well, I I take, to if I take a step forward, am I going to trip something? You know what I, mean? I don't know. You tell me. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know what you're doing still. I'm lo- I'm, I'm, I rolled a three. I'm pretty confident that this is a Wait, three. Wait, you close your eyes and feel on the floor. <laughs> let me, let me, let me hold you back before you make that move and try to like help you look. <laughs> the other thief steps up. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. You search the floor. No traps. Huh? I told you there was no traps. They're glowing blue. <laughs> I think I think we need to. I think we need to cast some sort of magic on those statues. Um, I inspect the statues a little closer, um, see if they ha- there's any big differences between the two, if there's any, like, levers or something. Yes, I, I would like to inspect the wizard statues first. You inspect one Andy. of the wizard statues. You look at the statue. At first glance, nothing seems very, very weird at all. And then you notice that the, the face starts to move, and the statue begins to talk to you. You do not belong. <laughs> 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 He seems to have a breathing problem. <laughs> <laughs> I am a statue. How do we open? <laughs> How do we open these this door? You do not belong. <laughs> How do we open this door? Again. Dab three Women. times. <laughs> 
You do not belong. I cast magic missile on him. <laughs> you hit it. You uh, strike with the magic missile, and the spell seems to fade. And he ah. seems to go back to a normal statue. Oh. I woke up to the other wizard guy statue. And the wizard begins to talk to you. This wizard is a female. How can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> How do I open these doors while I magic missile her? Just use the handle on the left. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, okay, you... I kind of dick moved <laughs> a little bit. What did you say? Just use the handle on the left. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then she disappears, or fades away, and turns back to a statue. Okay. Anybody? What do you want to do? I walk up to one of the warrior statues. Okay. You look at the warrior statue. This one looks a little tougher than, a lat- than the other statues. A little gruffer. No, it's the handle on the right. <laughs> uh, I uh, punch it in the Fucking face. <laughs> Your other right. <laughs> <laughs> you punch him and the magic fades. And you go to the last one. Wait, so now you, I... You want to grab the other one? I'll talk to the other one. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, you, you, approach, <laughs> you approach the last remaining statue. I don't think you have to roll, do you? No, I, no. I, I, no. I'm just fondling something right now. <laughs> <laughs> you take out your penis and fondle and then talk to the statue. Hey, big boy. <laughs> It's Help us get out of it. Oh, hey there, big girl. <laughs> <laughs> Help us get out of here. I see Wh- you're not circumcised. <laughs> Is that something you're into? <laughs> the door likes that. <laughs> oh. So do I have to fuck the door? <laughs> <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> roll, fuck roll. <laughs> I'll f- roll the fuck the door. You, I'll tell you this: in Dungeons and Dragons, you can try anything you like. Dude, please fuck. I that would door. really love to fuck this door. <laughs> okay, my first question is: He's rolling already. Where are you putting it? <laughs> oh, in the keyhole, right? Is there a keyhole? It'll no, fit. The there, there's, fit. A, there's a keyhole. You tell us: is it, does it fit? I don't know. Can we roll to see if it fits? <laughs> yes. I guess that's what you you rolled. I bro, just rolled for that, so it's a and nine. it doesn't fit. So the wizard should try. Fuck you. Oh. Wizard's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, Tony. Tony, is is a, a lower roll <laughs> a better possibility of fitting <laughs> or a higher so roll? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would have just slipped right in there. It's the motion of the dice, you know. I don't know. Guess we'll see what happens, right. eh? That's like a constitution check. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. You it's are cold Italian. in here. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to work. In fact, none of this seems to be working at all. I walk up to that statue and I slap it. It's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the magic disappears. You're left with a door, a lock, and two levers. Okay. <laughs> Let's hit both levers at the same time. That was such a Ooh. good plan. I go this way. You go that way. <laughs> I'll pick the lock. Fuck it. I'm not doing. You anything. stop fucking things. Okay, so <laughs> the on, at, at the same wrong. time, are you, you're opening a lever, mm-hmm. and you're opening a lever. Yes. And you're picking the lock. Yeah. Okay. You guys don't have to roll. The wizards don't have to roll. And for picking the lock, roll. It's a ten. Okay, you get to the lock. The lock's actually not too bad, so you actually get it open. But at the same time, you go over to the levers, and you pull. <laughs> And as you do, a trap door opens right below you. Uh. Roll a dexterity check, or you fall into the easiest trap oh, known to man. Snap! Uh oh. <sighs> the trap <sighs> opens back, op- uh, closes back up, and she falls. Sorry, I'm genius man. wizard, roll the die. <laughs> genius, who got memory kill. Oh, uh, you rolled lower than I yes. did. Yes. <laughs> <He goes, "Wah!" laughs> oh. We're in it together. <laughs> you were just dying I've been waiting to do this for two and a half hours So we have the two, the two uh, thieves That are the only people left You guys look at each other You know it's down to you Fuck Let's, Now? Yeah. <laughs> now we Should fuck. I roll the dice? <laughs> First we fuck then we continue Agreed? All right. Uh, can we see if we can open the trap doors With our thieving skills? You look at the trap doors And they seem to be very masterfully done You don't really think you could But I'll let you try A natural 20 would get the door open Save me. Uh, yeah, negative. No Save and no. Me. Can we add their two dies together? <laughs> no. For a score. Natural 20 would have been the only thing. Do we ever come back from the fountain? Nope. Oh, we're gone. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Fountain. Only two left. What about us? From the traps? Where did you go? Were there spikes? Oh, you don't know yet. You don't know. Is there, so cab- wait. Is there cable? <laughs> <laughs> wait, you we already. Netflix? Maybe. 
there a pit monster? We'll find I out. Know. So wait, we picked the lock. Why don't we just go in? If we can't get through, we might as well just go. Uh, let me look. Let me search the door before I pick. <laughs> before you open the door. Okay, he did pick it and it did open. I mean, the lock opened. <laughs> yeah, but before I actually push <laughs> yeah, the door yeah. open. Yeah. So you search. Seven. Everything looks great. All right, let's go in. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. I'm with it. It looks you good. Are. The door opens. See, I told you. <laughs> What's the prostitute doing in there? <laughs> you walk. I'm showing the wrong way. You walk into the door. You walk down steps, and you appear to be at your final destination. <gasps> Inside here appears to be something quite interesting. I will show you this. Uh, crude image that I have drawn before the game. <laughs> what you're looking at is a cavern. In the middle of the cavern is a very large pit. It that looks like a butthole. <laughs> it is not. It is not a butthole. Perhaps it's the butthole of the dark castle. <laughs> so, the pit extends down about... Yeah, so it's a... It, it looks like a penis. Okay, I knew someone was going to say that, but it's not. So this oh. is the cavern. That's, there, the, that's, now, that's technically the glands penis. Yes. There's, <laughs> there's, part, a, yeah. there's a lift that runs down the whole thing. That's oh, the urethra. Like vein. And it go okay. It's the vast okay. afferents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it go, I'm trying to describe something, perhaps. Epididymus! Epididymus! I want to roll! <laughs> it, it goes it goes down into a much lower chamber. It down below... The, the satchel. The basket. <laughs> down below, you see the glitter of gold and much treasure. You also... Oh, actually, I'm sorry. You don't see anything more than that yet. <laughs> Okay, oh, shit. well, I have rope. Inside Is there a dragon? Wait. Shh, you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Inside the room, you see there are two statues of gargoyles. I, s I say we investigate these gargoyles. Is there anywhere else to go except for down? Uh, no, this is it. <laughs> We've gone down you, a lot already. You walk into the room, and then there's a lift. The lift is actually up, and it's just, like, dangling there. By the way, this is the kind of lift you can tell requires at least two people to operate. One up top. One on the lift. You want to go down first? <laughs> you know I'm always down to go <laughs> down. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> okay, but before I do, I have this rope. You should tie it around yourself, and I'll tie the other end to myself. Wait, how long is the rope, and how long is the shaft? Yeah. You both... Okay. Uh, the rope on you guys, just so you know, is 50 feet each. You both actually have a rope on you. So 100 feet of rope. That's what you have. And the lift goes down by 500 feet. Fuck it. I'll just go. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I, I go to the lift mechanism. Okay. You go over to it, you give him a look, like a, a nod look. Ready. I think ready as I'm gonna be. <laughs> I crank. You start bringing him down. He slowly descends. As you look down, thief, yeah. you see the glitter of gold. Immediately, all your thiefiness <laughs> chimes in, and you're very excited. This is why I became a thief. Oh. This is it. <laughs> as you come down, you see something perhaps you didn't expect two cages on either side of the hole. As you get about 250 feet down, halfway, you see one cage on one side and a cage on the other side. On the cage on the left, you see the princess. There's another man in there with her also. The princess looks up. You see that her face is dirty. She's been beaten. You don't know what happened, but she's not having a Ray Rice. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side, you see all your fellow adventurers <laughs> sitting in a, ca in a little cage. They've all been caught. They're all talking to each other. You're still, you're still going down, obviously. So let me get this straight. Franco has to save me? Yep. This is bad. <laughs> this is my but nightmare. Now, when you get, you, you get to the bottom. The lift makes a large noise when it hits the gold. It echoes throughout the cave. You hear it, it makes you shudder up top. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear... <laughs> very loud. Uh -huh. And you, you see the princess gets startled. Princess piss flaps, and you see the guy with her. <gasps> it's a giant Ray Rice. And there's a guy, the guy with the Is it princess. An elevator? Now you've done <laughs> it. You've woken him up. Who is it? Who have I woken do, up? Do I hear this at all? It's 500 feet. You down. hear, you, you hear something. You hear it's talking. You can roll this and check if you want to chime in. You've woken up the dragon. Fuck. Uh, is there let any? us out. We'll help you. Hurry, get us out of here oh before it comes. So I, I just run over and I. Is is the are the cages locked? Like, like you run over to <laughs> save me, my lord. You jump up, you check out the cage. Save us first. You hear the dragon. Save takes, us first. 
us. No. We can help. Save us. You hit- Save me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, yo? <laughs> My iPhone's coming tomorrow. You hear the dragon take one giant step toward you, coming th- through a small uh, cave entrance, and you see light coming around from the dragon. <laughs> It's us coming closer. Holy shit. You check the cage and you're like, uh, and you see a lock, but this lock is crazy hard to pick. Can I cast open close on the lock? It's way too far. Oh, your lock? Yeah. Uh, you can try to do that. Go ahead. Go. I'm right, I can. <laughs> what is that, a two? No! It's a two. You go, shh, shh, nothing works. Can I try to break can it Can you my do axe? it? Amber, yes. you have it? You go, choo, 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 it won't break. Can I spit at it? Yes. <laughs> Natural 20 would spit, would open it. Oh, so close. It was 16. Okay, anybody else? Does that weaken it at all? Um, which? Nothing has weakened it. Um, Nothing appears to have weakened it. Spit? Do I see And by the way, you're on a different one, right? Are you the one of the princess? Or you no, fuck that. I'm gay. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so you're, you're Lord, on... I am worth a lot of money. <laughs> I have no need for money. <laughs> okay, so you're on the you're all on the the same gate trying to open it up, and nothing seems. Can to be I opening. cast another spell? Um, you could try, but first, is, it, is there a the dragon is coming around I the corner? Do something. He um, is, by the way, he's three rounds away from you. Just so you know. Is there? Uh, do I see keys on a wall somewhere? Like while no. this is happening? You wish there were keys on the wall, yeah. elf. What is this, Andy Griffith? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when you're locked up in the county Ooh. jail and the keys are like right there. the keys it's here, just, Andy. And then there's a reason. dog sitting <laughs> on the good. floor and you convince the dog to bring the keys to you. You know, like that. What do you want to do, group? Can I try my club? Send yes. The axe? She pulls out her ridiculously oversized club. And she goes, ah! Oh. And she rolls a one. Your club breaks right in half. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's getting worse. <laughs> this is a pickle. Can I cast Alter Self and turn myself into a key? No. Alter Self is not that powerful. You can turn yourself into like another humanoid type to uh, pose as somebody else. Can oh, How does the Ring of Teleportation work? It works. Yeah. For an entire group? No. Just oh. you. Save yourself, Anne-Marie. Save yourself. Teleport to the other cage. So we're all together. <laughs> oh, here we go. So we're all locked up together. No, don't do that. Well, I'm, I'm gonna see if if he's successful in getting this lock open. Who cool. me? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you picking? Does it have to be a twenty? Um, no. You need a seventeen or higher. Oof. And here's the thing: you can only try it three times. This lock will uh, completely close if it's funneled with too much. Uh, that's why. So you try once. Roll nothing, that shit though. Nothing dude. works. Oh. Doesn't work. And the last time. Oh. Fourteen. Uh, oh. No good. The lock solidifies, and you hear the horn of sounding that tells you that it's <laughs> solidified. Can I enlarge person and play with myself? Yes. <laughs> the wizard gets bigger <laughs> and pulls out his dick. <laughs> will, that, will that shatter the cage if he gets too big? No. It's, no. All right. He doesn't get that big. All right. <laughs> how, big how big is the cage? Uh, it's about 10 feet high. <laughs> the dragon is closer. He's What's two rounds away. What's going on down there? Oh, shit. How are we going to... Can I turn into the Hulk? It says I can. <laughs> you can go into Rage. I go into Rage Hulk. You indeed can. She starts going... <sighs> and starts raging up. She starts drooling. Starts going crazy. She charges the cage. And she drops the die on the floor. What is it? Here you go. Oh, barbarian. Here you go. Right here. Right here. She rules. Oh, my God. A two. <laughs> oh. I'll give you two more tries. Two more tries. These dice are fucking loaded. <laughs> 18. She goes, ah, and the whole cage like bends in half. It's like almost breaking. One more try. Give me a 12 or above. 12 or above, and you got it. Uh, she drops the die on the floor. And she rolls. A four. Oh, it's almost broken, but it won't break. Somebody else, take a shot. Somebody come in. Can I, try spitting on it again. Can I spit at it again or do something with my balls a second time? <laughs> well, uh, you can spit on it and roll in the. I'll tell you what, if you if 17 or higher, would you Doesn't spit? he have a weapon on him at all? Yes, he does. Yeah. A belt. Oh, that's right, because I'm a terrible <laughs> father. <laughs> <laughs> he has a belt on him. Can I, can I take off my belt and yes. hit the gate? He takes off his belt. You feel like he's going to beat you, but he doesn't. And what are you doing? Are you whipping the thing with your belt? Uh, yes. And I have a 14 oh, belt shit. slap. You go, shh. Doesn't quite open it, though. Damn. Anybody else wasn't taking a turn? Um, I hit it with my staff. Go. You need a natural 20 with the staff. Uh, Go ahead. What are my ball bearings? Nope. Nope. You're running out of options, guys. The quest may end right here. 
Wait, what else can I do? What, what? Can we all I have two more rounds, right? Two rounds, the dragon will be here. Can I cast the destructive spell on it? Uh, uh if it, that destructive spell is named Fireball, it's gonna no, kill no, all no, of you. No, 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 magic missile. No, you can't target the. Target, uh, can we all jump on it together dog. since it's bent? Like, we all four of us just run and jump at the same right time? Right now, you can't do much because you're raged out. Like, you just, you like this. How if I just throw my weighty body against it? <laughs> Wait, I have a weapon. Your weighty body. Yeah. You're, I have a weapon. You can right? try a weapon, yeah. Yeah, can I try my weapon on it? Yep. Okay, so I use my short sword. Okay. Uh, Need to roll really high because there's not much to it. Five. Oh, <laughs> this is brutal. This is really this brutal. Is brutal. We're never gonna get do out. I, do, what do I see around the room? What's it besides gold and, and a cage? You look around the room. Roll search check. Oh god, this is a six. Lo- this is the lowest roll. Can you use? You look your around the room. You don't see anything of interest. Wait, if only you were there looking around bolt. closer. What perhaps about, you could see something. Hmm, so what about my wand of fire? You want to fire? I can throw little balls of fire at things. You don't know what kind of effect it will have on it. I, I have can no I, idea what's going on, right? I have an I have an idea. Go. On my sheet it says my weapon is a belt and make up your own. So could the princess yell out to me, You should try your That's good. What does he have on? What do you see him? What's my other weapon? Spit? So maybe get us out of the cage. That's up to you, Lori. What's what's his other weapon? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm not oh I am smart. <laughs> my sheet <laughs> says so. You, you see another another item in his hand. What is it? Don't say key. <laughs> Try your sword. Oh, I forgot I had this. <laughs> <laughs> you pull out a sword. She said power drill. <laughs> Damn, it's a two. <laughs> you guys are the worst rollers oh ever. Oh my god. Weak. I mean an 18. <laughs> Wait, have you gone yet? Well, there's nothing I can do really. Because he's I'm, upstairs. I'm upstairs, right? Upstairs? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yes. 500 feet away. Yes. All right, I'm going to... About 500 miles away. I'm going to do I, I might as well... Okay. What do you do? Yeah, no, no, go, 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 go. I might as well try... Okay, so you go around, you try a ridiculous trick shot, and natural 20 is only... Yeah, that's, that's might as well, right? Yeah. I mean, we all fucking suck. I know. There's something else you guys can do. Ugh. Rob no. just needs to set the cage on fire. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let me use the wand of fire on the lock. Okay. Roll okay. it. What number does he have to get? For the fire, uh, 1920. Oh, it's a cage on all sides, right? Like bottom, top, sides. <laughs> Chris is just yep. sitting there a cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been sitting there so quiet the whole time. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, this is rough. All right, yep. I, I teleport out. I t- to the other where? side of the cage. Okay. By the way, the dragon. <laughs> You can almost see in the shadow coming around the corner, and you have the fire dragon in a cage in about one minute. Okay, um, can I search now that I yes. teleported out? Search. Please roll high. 14. 14. Four- Do I add, like, my intelligence? Yeah, yeah, you're very smart, so it helps. Okay, all right, so plus two. 16. Okay, you look around the room. Huh? You find what appears to be a small lever. But you remember what happened last time you pulled the lever. <laughs> So you can think about that. You only have about six seconds. I pull, pull the lever. I pull the lever. <laughs> the cage is dropped. Oh, it's actually enough to uh, open the uh, cage that she bent. Yeah, the cage breaks. Marie. <laughs> yeah. Everybody runs out. You look at the other side, though. The princess and the crazy guy are still inside the cage. Help us. You can play the role of the crazy guy. <laughs> 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 that cage door got a little bit damaged in the fall, but not quite. I'm and all so of a sudden, you see the, you see the dragon, the infamous dark, fire-breathing dragon of fireness. He comes around, and he puts his head around the corner, and he goes, "Cover!" He blows fire. Everybody, uh, roll a dexterity check. You're looking for a ten or above. If you have a dexterity, high dexterity, let me know. Nope, I lost. I lost the game. All right, I got a nine, but a dexterity of 12, so I add one, right? Yes. I got a a dexterity. Just raise your hand if you failed. Wait, hold on. I have a dexterity. Ten. need a ten. I I got an eight. I failed. But I have a... What's your dex score? Oh, so then I got a 12. I got a nine. You made it. You got a nine? I got a nine on the... 18, good. All right, so I'm fucking great. You got a plus three. Raise your hand if you failed. Everyone made it. Yeah. Okay. Because we're awesome. You guys... 
Oh, you're not there. That's right. Because I just fucking Thank epic. You. So you guys, um, you guys hear the noise of the dragon breathing in. You guys dart to the side. The fire fills the cave and it goes goes up. You see it. You freak out and you see the uh, rope get singed a little bit. Oh, that's shit. hanging the lift. Just so you know. Dude, can you tie his rope to the rope? Yeah, can I? Can I do a patch? <laughs> yeah. You have to shimmy down it, but you could definitely do that. I'll try it. Okay, roll. It should be very easy. It's actually like a seven. Too, so. <laughs> wow, you go down and you're just having trouble with the rope and you're the worst thief ever. <laughs> this is miserable. Okay, guys, you have one round before this dragon uh, starts stepping into this room and the princess is still in the... Uh, Help! In the okay. thing. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy guy is getting upset too. Can I try to break the cage with my Hulk superhuman yes, strength? Yes, you can try again. She rages up. Uh, and she runs. Uh, she hits the cage. Nothing. I want to try open close again. Go for it. You try to manipulate the lock with some magic. What is it? A two. Everybody's rolling twos. It doesn't work. Christ. Hey, is their their cage is suspended? The one the princess is in? It was. It's not it anymore. Fell. It all fell. Both fell. Both saved fell. Us. Wait, wait. What's it suspended to? Is there a rope hanging up the top a of chain. it? Chain. A chain. I yell down. Tie the chain to the elevator or to the not lift. That, not that long though. Well, can they can they move it over? Can we? I'm trying to lift them both up, the the lift and the the cage. The cage is top. Oh, you want to like take the chain out or something like that? I want to yeah. see if we can fix the chain. No, you're almost positive the chain. Okay, is go to way too heavy. Tech for that kind of work, yeah. man. <laughs> and it's also too much you math have involved a in that. Rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anybody else want to do anything? I think I might as well just. Um, how how mage hand? Um, can I move that cage? Small items. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. Let me know when you guys. Have to <laughs> <laughs> the princess, go to sleep. Crazy guy, what are you doing? Pampers. <laughs> uh, he's so wise. All right. Um. So the only thing I, we can do right now is attack the dragon, right? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. It's up to you. Do oh, what you want. Can I? Can I climb up the? Wait. The rope is still swinging. The dragon right? and ride it by like the way, a pony. By the way, you should all check your sheets and make sure you've all used the items that you have. I have all throw daggers. Items. Can I throw daggers at the dragon? What does the spell book do, though? The yeah. Spell book is where what you get spells. Yeah. My, oh, can I feed the dragon my necklace of ears? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might feed on more than that. <laughs> so he's busy eating. He might be busy eating you if you but start going up to him to give him your ears. That's all I have. <laughs> you could try it. Can we feed him a homeless person? <laughs> Do we have any? <laughs> Do you have? A, I don't think I put down your the crazy sheet. guy. The prostitute's still outside, but we can't get to him. He's locked up. Yeah. This is the same round. Can right? we all get on the dragon's yeah, back and fly we'll up? Have one more round. <laughs> what? Can we get on the dragon's back and fly up to the top? No, we got. You open, can try that. We, go up to the dragon and see what happens. We gotta open the cage. We gotta open the cage. All right, let's open this cage. Let me try one. This is should our last I, round. Should we attack? You said it was like a seven. Before that we he get gets done, the right? jump on us. No, what are you trying to? You picking it? No, no, no. I'm like. Busting it with my like fucking. Okay, no, you can pick it too. <laughs> you can well. pick it. Oh. Should I pick it? Pick, pick it, it then? then? Yeah, I guess. Pick it. Pick it. Like, what'd you roll? Seven. Okay, you try to pick it. No it works. You could have work. rolled again. Dude. Uh, you have. You can try the rage again. You can try to pick again, and the dragon comes out. All of a sudden, dragon music, please. He comes out of the uh, of the cave. He spreads his wings. <laughs> <laughs> he spreads his wings. <laughs> He's the size of the whole entire cave. He comes down. He, he takes his claw. He goes <laughs> across the whole floor. Actually, everybody roll a uh, uh, reflex, and you need a 10 or higher. Add dex. If you have dex, 30. I missed. 13. 12. 16. 12. Everybody there good? Go. Where well, the fuck well, were these well, numbers we like five minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He goes right across. You guys leap over, over his arm. He comes back up. <sighs> Getting ready to attack again. And this round, you have the six seconds to take your action. What are you going to do? Can I offer him my straw hat in peace? You offer him a straw hat in peace. What do you want to do? I lightning bolt him. Do you want to do? Keep oh, trying you- to repatch the rope. Go for roll damage. I mean, roll thing. Crazy guy. Cheese balls! <laughs> <laughs> I I feed of great strength him and just pop him in the fucking face. Oh, wow. So she runs up and just wants to sock I, him in the jaw. I want to do one of those like slow-mo, like up in the air, like bam! Because they say you got to punch a okay. shark in the nose. You like the Matrix jump? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you roll. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> lightning, lightning bolt to 66 damage. Uh, thief, you can go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw my fucking daggers at him. Okay. Yeah, everybody roll. Do what you think. I got a 16. I got a 13. 16 on daggers? I'm I got an 11. I got okay, 13, 16 goes in. 19. Do, do uh, 1d6 damage to him? You got 11? I got 13, but can I add some of my strength? Yes, you hit. 24 damage. 
Six, 24, 30 damage. You can do your, your attack. You can do your damage. So I get to punch him in the nose? Yeah, you do. You punch him. With a great piece of Damn! Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Eleanor! Oh. I love you, flappy lips! <laughs> this <is> for you! <laughs> right, that wasn't for you! One more, one more. <laughs> Three damage. Oh. That's a six. Okay. Seven times two, 14 damage. Actually, it's your ability 28 and 58 damage to the... The dragon. Wow. Magic um, missile right here. Magic missile. Go for it. I think it's 2d6 we said. Magic missile right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, oh, I want a magic missile. 2d6. Yep. Two. Six. Six. Two, eight. So you're at That's 7,000 six, points. 66 uh, damage you've done to the dragon. My dragon goes, I take his tail. He swings it across everybody. This is going to be hurt a lot more if you get hurt by this one. This is going to be a 13 to dodge. It's a little bit harder. Nope. I keep rolling like a jerk. Oh, Three. 12. Just tell me if you fail. Raise your hand if you fail. Okay. <laughs> if you, if you fail, you take That's 20 damage. That's the sound da- of a tail, Andy. If you fail, you take good. 20 damage. Oh, take 20 hit. damage off of your health. Oh, oh I, God. I'm hurt. I haven't hurting. been taking health. If you go down to zero, you go unconscious. If you reach negative 10, you die. Just so you know you. All right. So, what do, Wait. What's the strength of this fucking dragon? How much will it take to kill this fucking you don't know. thing? I offered him my hat before. Did anything happen with that? <laughs> oh, roll 27 to die on that real quick. And let's see what <laughs> happens with that. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a four. But it got stuck in the wire, four. so I can roll it again. Yeah, of course. That's, that's the rule with that. 19. 19. You offer the straw hat, and he goes, what? I've never been offered a straw hat before. Maybe I'll stop fighting you. No. Neat. Takes your straw hat and he dribbles it up. Ah. His little claw like this. <laughs> That's disappointing. <laughs> and the battle continues. <laughs> Surprisingly. Okay, can the dragon is attacked. So you can actually take your rounds now again. He's. Okay. You, you see him actually getting ready to uh, shoot fire again. Can I sleep him? Oh. You know that won't work. What do I need to patch this freaking rope up? Can you use fire on a dragon? Not much. Like seven. I just rolled a seven. Oh, All you right. got it. Okay. You tie, You do the... Roll us up, man. Attacking a dragon. Is anyone working on the cage? 20. Natural Ooh. 20. You uh, take your axe? Or? I'm going to take my axe. Okay. That's I'm going to spin it like a fucking badass. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that does extra damage. <laughs> Bam! She comes up. <laughs> and she puts it right into the, the uh, dragon's neck. Oh, nice. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it for real. My brain heard it. Okay, roll Eleanor. damage. Roll. Eleanor. Roll the two dice, please. Roll easy. <laughs> Four. Times two, eight damage, 66. He's done 74 damage total. Yeah. Anybody else attacking? Yeah, I'm going to throw some daggers at this motherfucker. Go ahead, throw your daggers. Can, can you use fire on a dragon? Uh, you can. Is yeah. it a, it's not as... You seen The Hobbit? Effective. Uh, <laughs> I throw a three. Three? <laughs> Just because it's flying off to the distance. I'm gonna All right, s- I'm going to try a fireball on him. Okay. Well, like shots? You gonna get I make sure I'm not near the dragon. <laughs> we hit him with a fireball. It seems like it didn't even affect him. Son of a bitch. I lightning. You played again. me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smack him in the you head don't. with my belt. I'm you, don't ha- you don't have to roll that. Just. Oh. Five, seven, Shoot lightning. He tries oh. to avoid it, but he gets hit right in the body. Eighteen. Was that six rolls? It's eighteen. Eighteen. Ninety-four damage. Okay. Okay, everybody uh, has went. I want to smack him in the face oh, with my go oh, belt. Good. Good. So you take your belt out. I want to whip it around. You're completely prepared for this you dragon this. battle with your belt. You he has him. a sword, but he's hitting with a belt. 19. You don't oh. know how to do that, right? Yeah. It's how he's got to do it the way he knows. 19. 19. 19. That's, That's a critical with a belt. I, yes. <laughs> I take you, it off. And like what do you I, say? What do you say before you hit somebody with a belt? Like, Child services can't save you now. <laughs> <laughs> so you scream that, and the dragon's like, what? And you hit him. <laughs> Uh, roll damage with your belt. Wait. <laughs> 1d6 times 2 because you are hitting with a belt. <laughs> <laughs> just twice? Yeah. yeah. 5 and 6. Okay. Oh. Kind of this forgot. you have to do math for? The lower numbers you have to do math for? No, I'm just, I'm just I'm starting to forget. <laughs> you know, I'm DMing. It's, 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 it's difficult. Uh. I kind of dragging. forgot Andy was over okay. there playing keyboard. <laughs> it, yeah, so right? it feels yeah. so <laughs> right. that means That means he's doing a good job. Oh, yeah, yeah it's awesome. Okay, the dragon breathes fire. <sighs> Everybody. Uh, you're going to make a dodge. This is going to be a 12. If you fail, you take 15 damage. Oh, thank God. 
God. 19. 16. Oh, no. 18. I dodged the shit out of that. Who failed? Just so I know. <laughs> I did. Okay. Take 12 is a number. I'm good. Take the damage, yes. What'd you say? It was 18 damage? It's 15. 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, take your turn. You still got the cage that's still being, uh... It's repaired Jesus. now. Oh, the rope's repaired. The rope's repaired. Cage is still locked, and the dragon's in front of you. But wait, we can still bring it up and try to open it upstairs, right? So you cannot get the, that cage up there. Oh, the fuck. Okay, okay right, so let me try it. to break it. I'm trying to break this bitch. Let's, let's focus on the dragon first, maybe. Could I, um... That's you. Can I try to shoot it from <laughs> oh. on, atop the, uh, the rope? It's so far, you need a natural dragon? play. But you could try. Right, I, I, I got nothing else big, to do. Though. You can hit the dragon. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to hit the dragon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm the lock. Let's see if I can My bad. divide its attention. Go ahead. Natural one. <laughs> you go like this. You're like, I got it. And you drop your bow. <laughs> and just falls. Anybody need a bow? <laughs> <It's> coming. <laughs> what do you want to do? Lightning again. Okay. You shoot lightning. Uh, Jerry. Um, I'm going to use my spit attack to actually try and blind him like it's supposed to. So you leap in the air. <sighs> what do you try to spit? 26. 17. 26 Whoa, damage. nice. 17. Okay, you get a little spin in his eye. I'm not going to lie. This is annoying him. <laughs> Does it blind him? Uh, not completely, but I'll, I'll give you a minus to, to the damage. Does it impair his vision? Slightly. Slightly. Yes. I'm going to go for the other eye with a magic missile. Go for it. Ooh, I get like it. Now that he's being blinded, I'm going to go in this time with the club. The club is in two pieces. I'm going to go in with both clubs and use them as a fucking daggers. <laughs> Okay, you, you drop pieces. your really sharp and awesome axe. You put it to the side. Okay, you know what? And you take now that you put it that way, gloves. I'm gonna take. I was I'm just, gonna. I was just DMing what was happening. <laughs> I'm gonna go back with the axe now that I have. Oh, you're like no, that, logically. <laughs> Maybe you take it back out, and you use your whole turn. No, no, go ahead, you attack. And then uh, thief, what are you doing? I rolled 18 on the missile. By the I'm way, I'm gonna go ahead. 18 on, on your attack on a magic missile. Yeah, it hits automatically. You just roll the damage. Two d six. Yeah. I can try to, uh, I can try to, uh... Five. Throw some four. daggers again. Five and a four. Five and a four, got And that's, uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think it's a six. Can't Piss or Flaps nine. do something to get herself out? <laughs> Wouldn't she have done it already? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was sleeping, guys. Okay. He's looking weak. The dragon's like, ooh, I got spit in my eye. <laughs> I yeah. it. And a magic missile. And a magic missile in my other eye. He's blinded. Blinded by the light. Sorry. Um, I am agile. Can I... You're in the cage. Well, you, could, you could try to do something from the cage. You want to throw your lipstick at him? <laughs> <laughs> Is that because she's a woman? A natural 20 will do anything. Is this a new turn or... Well, so, well, she's taking her turn. It's not. I'm going to try and hit the dragon with my lipstick. She throws her <laughs> lipstick of throwing plus one. I rolled a 12. 12. It just hits him and goes off. He doesn't even notice. He looks lovely now. I also have a... <laughs> it hits him like this. It actually makes the lipstick around his lips. And he, he purses. Uh, next round, the dragon is attacking. He's still swinging his claw. Of course, everybody. Because you're starting to get tired of, of the, the jumping and dodging, this is going to be a 14. Yeah. Nine. Who failed? Oh, wait, even if I'm... Wait, it was 14? No, never 15. Now I'm going to minus the damage a little bit, so it'll be 10 damage instead because you blinded him. Oh. <laughs> okay, right. take your turns. If you're attacking, just attack. I want to try something a little unconventional, Tony. The lift is still down there, right? Yeah. Would I be able to get the lift moving a little bit to swing it at him like a giant, like, you know... You can try. Yeah, you want, you want to try to sway Yeah, it? just try to, you know... Okay, you can, I'll take your whole round to start getting it going. Next yeah. round, you can attack. Okay. No, we draw. Well, Three, you missed. The barbarian attacks and misses. I'm going to take another shot at open close to open that thing. Okay. Shh. You try to open it up. 24. <laughs> Two. This. You're the worst thief in the world. I think worst you rolled two almost every time doing that, right? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the like 18 on everything else. The sorceress uh, hits the dragon with lightning. Definitely doing the most damage here. Okay. <laughs> Fucking dragon. Okay. Dude. Yeah, he's, he's tough, still man. Standing? I, I didn't you do it. You still have a sword. He's still oh, standing. I do. Who, who didn't go? <laughs> you went, you went, you went. Thank you for reminding me. Steve, did you attack? No, I didn't attack. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to throw some daggers. Actually, or can you I try to run up to him and like stab him with the short sword like right in the eye? In the, the eye, one that's no. That's not fucked up. Or where, where can in I the hit heart. him? In the heart. 
Yeah. You could, yeah you could, well, yeah, you could try to jump up into the body. Yeah, let's we'll do that. I don't know if I believe that face you're making right now. I, th- I think. I That's rolled a, a 17 with my for, to hit with my sword. But my strength is dumb high, and so is my. <laughs> I don't know, whatever else. My wisdom. No, you have much common sense, which allows you to realize you missed. <laughs> <laughs> you go. I rolled a 17. With what? A belt? No, my sword, sword. that sword. I forgot that I had. Oh, wow, a sword. <laughs> He's like, fuck this belt. And he comes <laughs> up with the sword. And you attack and you hit. Are you playing Dark Horse, Andy? That's <laughs> five and a five. Five and a five. The dragon's looking woozy, everyone. Uh-oh. Is this he's another round? Or? He's still up. Everybody, everybody complete the round? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, the dragon comes around the tail, the worst one. <laughs> he swings into everybody. Uh, you need a 15. Actually, it's harder now. 17. Oof. Go ahead. You roll first. Maybe 17 we're bad. or you take 20. Natural one. You take 20 damage. Oh, Doesn't matter. I yeah. am 20 damage? 20. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. 15. He's partially blinded. Take 15 damage, everybody. I'm unconscious. Unconscious. I'm fine. <laughs> All right, he's woozy. Come on, let's fin- let's fucking put this guy out. <laughs> <laughs> let's can I, let's go to sleep. Now. Let's go to fucking you sleep already. <laughs> Give me a uh, 12 or higher. Fuck. Nope. He's swinging. It just goes wide. Doesn't hit him. The lift goes back and forth. It's a dark horse. It doesn't hit him. Take, take your turn. Oh, actually, you're unconscious. Take your turn. I have I have 25. Am I dead yet? No. Oh, okay. What do you mean 25? You no, mean? didn't you say like we would be dizzy after a certain number? Yeah, negative you zero. Oh. When you get to zero and no, then negative yeah. 10, you die. Okay, then I got an eight. I didn't do anything. Okay. You can I want to use my rage, turn into a Hulk, <laughs> and just <laughs> squish his neck. Okay. Stop breathing. You Fire attack him in your rage. You rage up. Yeah, actually, you got to do it now. I, I've done it every time, so you got to rage up. I think mine was better, but okay. <laughs> I don't think yours is better. What? Okay, maybe yours is okay. Tony's a dick. <laughs> Fine, yours is really good. I just want to say. I want to say it. Nine. Nine. So As in no, you missed. As in nine, my roll was better. You rolled a nine in your attack? No, she rolled two a six. She has to roll a 20 for the attack. You rolled a six out of die? No, I should get a nine then. Because she rolled the... <laughs> Two of them. Oh, you rolled a six out of die? Yeah, roll a 20 instead. Ooh, yeah. snake eyes. Roll that. Hit. Roll that one. It's not snake eyes. Roll Come this on, way. Come on, 20. Roll this way. There you go. Woo! Ooh, ooh nice. Hit. Dax? Yes. Yes. Nine. So here's your damage. So you did 18 damage to him. And guess what? The dragon goes... Yeah. And, the, and the dragon falls on the ground. Yeah. I didn't even do nothing yet. What is it... <laughs> what is the dragon's last word? He, he yells something out when he dies. Eknar! <laughs> <laughs> As we all know, dragons say when they die. <laughs> you go to the cage. Nice, Leah. The princess Thank you. is easily released. Oh, hi, guys. You take some gold for your pockets. I'm, I'm unconscious. And you help out your unconscious elf. <laughs> Can I give her some of my health? No. no. To bring her back? No, but you can bandage her wounds and she comes around enough to be awake. Spit on it. Here's some gold. Help. Go get yourself fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy something nice, too. <laughs> <laughs> There's dresses. There's lots of dresses down the street. What are you, like an Italian mother? Uh, <laughs> you guys climb climb out of the... Uh, Damien. <laughs> Damien. No, no, no. I roll them. I yeah, you guys bring them up. Did you bring them up? You guys uh, get out of the keep. You guys sneak out uh, along the edges. Apparently, Wait. Apparently, whatever they're doing... Is the prostitute still alive? I was going to tell you. Apparently, whatever they're doing is, is still requiring your attention with the prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> am I Poker! Ca- am I carrying Princess Piss Flaps on my back? Yes. Your lesbian lover is with you once again. <laughs> Eleanor, my lady. And once again, the planets Piss align and peace and love are in the air. <laughs> you journey back to the capital city. As you leave, you notice one thing as you get on your horses. You see Eldrick, the man who kidnapped the princess. He puts his fist up in the air, and he gives you a curse. He yells, Besufilis! <laughs> Which means, you will all have big noses. <laughs> Psych. The wizard's immune somehow. <laughs> <laughs> So you ride 
back to the castle. The castle where it all started and it all began. When you're there. No, it's okay. You go there. You're there. You ride to the castle. <laughs> it's epic. And then you arrive in the castle and the king is there and he's so happy to see everyone. Father. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. I'm back. They saved me. Oh, daughter, how I missed you so. <laughs> Who is responsible for bringing you back to me? This is my lesbian wife, <laughs> Eleanor. What? what can I ever do to thank you, Eleanor? I'd like to have sex with your daughter. <laughs> I will allow A it lot. On, on one condition. That we may all watch. <laughs> <laughs> and for the men, may we whip out our dongs. <laughs> and for the women, may we scratch our records like DJs on the streets. <laughs> and we shall all be happy. I love you, Father. Oh, I love you, Piss Flaps. <laughs> so I the love le- you, Eleanor. So the lesbians do what they do best. Why didn't you ask for gold, you fucking <laughs> greedy bitches? They have sex in front of the whole city where everyone watches. <laughs> Many DJs were born that day. <laughs> Which leads to a whole entirely different story. And they all lived happily ever after. Everyone, let's hear it for Tony the Dungeon. Oh, all right. Oh, much. I'm up for Andy for the excellent score. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. That was awesome, man. That was a lot of fun. Oh my <laughs> God. Great boy. My bladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Just, just Chris sitting in that cardboard the whole time, holding his sword when oh, he never used so it. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I want to thank the band geeks for coming on. Uh, it's always great to have uh, Richie and Amory on all the time, but to, to have Jared and Tony and everybody join in, and Andy, of course, and now Brandy's awesome laugh throughout the whole show. <laughs> um, it was great. I want to thank you guys, and please, once again, go to riotcast.com and check out the band geek podcast. Uh, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it, and um, that's it. Unless anybody else has anything you want to add. I think we're good. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Yeah. this was awesome. No problem. It was a lot of fun, and I'm worked out so much better than I thought it would. (laughs) It really did. I can't wait to go home and pull all of his hair out of my face, my (laughs) eyes. Uh, Anyway, thank you for listening to the whole. We don't have to go all around the room. Anything? (laughs) I'm waiting for Chris to say something. Farewell. Farewell. (laughs) Wasn't Anne Marie supposed to hit Chris with her mace? Yeah, can we do that real oh, yeah. quick? You have your armor on? Can she hit you with the mace on the yes. armor? Yes. Oh. All right, let's do it. Oh, All right, Richie, if you could switch with Chris. Thank you, Jared. Nice job. Yeah, Wait for the show to turn into a late so night much. piece oh, hey. when we go to the fucking Yeah, hospital. on this camera, can you? Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Katie. And I want to thank Katie for running the cameras and getting here. Good job, Woo! Good job. Ow! This is hard. Chris, will you wear this No, on his armor Halloween? is like super hard. He banged it earlier, dude. <laughs> can you guys do it further away from me? Yeah, but I don't know if there's any getting to my mace right now. It's in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah but my bag is... There's no if way not, you can use the sword. Just hit him with something. Here, yeah. hit him with the I just want to see him take hit a hit. Hit him with the mace. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. You'll break the sword on this uh, armor. Yeah. <laughs> Flash you. Bless you. I'm not going to hit too hard this is Mythbusters. We're checking out how hard it, lady. carpet bend, uh, is. Bend the mics down. Bend yeah, the mics down. Yeah. Yeah. Take this off, too. All right. This cloak. Ah. Anne-Marie Castellano is about to hit Chris not, Fortney with a mace. And the, the moneymaker. <laughs> please hit his dick, please. <laughs> you raise your mace. <laughs> she pulls back and gets ready to swing. I love her. Uh, oh. uh, Just don't hit Muff in the face. I know. Yeah. Uh, Lean back. Oh, wow. Are you going up? Back. Yeah! Oh. Again! Again! <laughs> One more time. Uh, I, don't know. I didn't feel like Again. I did anything. I don't trust No damage done. <laughs> yeah! One more! One more! <laughs> no more! No more! One 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 Thank Silly. you for listening to the whole later motherfucks. Woo! Look at that.